Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Welcome back to a, another week of streams. I hope everybody is doing well. How are we doing? Bonsoir, buenos tardes, gute Nacht, I think it's German. <laughs> How are we doing? Thank you very much as well, guys. More bendy contributions. Oh, we're getting close, I think. 60 odd percent of the way there. That ain't too bad, that ain't too bad. How are you doing, guys? I've uh, decided it's time to break into some of the Easter chocolate. So I've got some of that here. I remember when they used to come apart. Well, now they're just a solid mass, which isn't so isn't so useful to me. How'd you get into these? Like this? I think the, on the only real way is to just I ain't normally that difficult. <laughs> oh. May need to check that all of my teeth stayed in after that one. Put it down there for the time being. Ooh. All good. Been working in the garden again. Very nice. Seen the pictures? It's coming along very nicely. Duck in oyster sauce. Ooh. It sounds decadent. <laughs> I, uh... I had chili con carne. But I massively overdid it. On the chili. The recipe wanted, uh... What is it? It wants, like, 400 grams of mints or something like that. I accidentally bought the wrong pack size. I only bought 250. So I had to go out and buy some more but the only pack size they had was 500 so I ended up cooking 650 grams worth of beef so I'm basically gonna have chili in various forms for all of my meals for the next few days got it figured out though don't worry gonna have maybe chili dogs on one day uh, a jacket potato with some chili in it could be quite good could use it for some stuffed peppers you know there's plenty of options so I'm not too worried. However, I don't think my body will appreciate having had chili for essentially six meals in a row. <laughs> Has it been in the fridge? No. It's just been sitting on the kitchen side. The house does get quite cold though, so I guess it has kind of been a little bit chilly. <laughs> no, it has been a little cold, I guess, but... You know how it'd be? We live in the high life. Chili jackets and chi oh, chili fries could be good. Could be good, yeah. Yeah, some chili fries. That sounds, sounds like a good idea. I realised... I'm going to kind of bring it into the music that we've got on tonight. I realised that I had the songs set to be instrumentals only and to only play songs that were, that had no, basically not mature songs. And then I realised it's going to make no difference. If they're all instrumentals anyway, there will be no racy lyrics because there aren't any. So what I've realised is that I can turn the mature filter off, but leave it so that they're only instrumentals and that just expands the amount of songs that I can access massively. Although it is going to play one that we have heard before. But it's it's a step in the right direction. It's now kind of broadened the music that we can listen to a little bit. And I completely didn't even clock until earlier that that was something that could be done. It certainly will be cleansing. <laughs> Anyways, this afternoon, this evening... I say afternoon because it's still bright outside. Uh, this evening... In a change to our advertised uh, project, we're going to be moving on and digging a little bit deeper into the Binding of Isaac Repentance, as I posted up in our Discord earlier, um, which you can find at a link so very gracefully provided. There it is. Um, 
yeah, I, I've had some successful runs. So I'm feeling invigorated and I'm feeling like we could make something happen. <laughs> so uh, I guess there's nothing else for it. We should probably just get straight on in. That song, The Strut, can strut right on out of here. Game music. There it is. Uh, let's get the game up. There we are. Whilst we're here, I need to remember to move my entire overlay, basically, so that nothing obscures anything. Uh, camera? Where are you? There you are. Uh, how do I normally do this? I think followers and subs can stay where... No, they do need to go up as well, don't they? So they just ascend a little bit like that. That should do us just nicely. I think it's about there. There I go. <laughs> Alright, I think we're there. I think we are there. So, sorted. Both love watching you play Isaac. I love playing Isaac when it's going my way. Which isn't always too often. But we'll see what we can do. Yellow! Green! Hello Jay, good afternoon, evening to you. How are you? I hope things are alright. So, we've got a few things that we can do actually. We can uh, take on some of the... I'm on the wrong save game file. This is the one I need to be on. So... No glasses? Ah, yes, good point. We could put the glasses on. The reason why I didn't put the glasses on is because it's a damage down now. It never used to be a damage down, but then they they nerfed it in Repentance. So now it's a damage down, unfortunately. Glasses plus three of luck, minus two damage. So. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got some challenges that we can do that we've unlocked. These will also unlock things for us if we can complete them. We got Scatman, Bloody Mary, Isaac's Awakening, Seeing Double, and the and Pika Run. Whatever that may be. In terms of character progression, I've got one more thing to do as Isaac. Two things to do as Mag Magdalene. So the knife that's in Isaac's post-it is taking on Mother, which was the big green monster that we couldn't actually see because the level was really dark. So we've got to do that for everybody, as well as whatever the missing icon is. Uh, earlier today I played as Bethany and uncovered a couple of extra bits and pieces as well. And we've done nothing as Jacob and Esau. So there's a few options. Pikachu runs, Pika run, Jay's saying the Pika run. So. Let's, let's see what Pika Run is all about. I'm going to presume that this is coming off of the back of the Pikachu uh, Super Cup from Pokemon the other night. How did I unlock Jacob? How do you unlock Jacob and Esau? Uh, I can't remember how you unlocked Jacob and Esau. Maybe that's... Uh, oh, it doesn't say. Okay. Uh, how did I unlock Jacob and Esau? Old path win. Is that it? You just have to beat beat Mother once to unlock them? Let's do... A quick run over to the wiki. Just to double check so that we have all the accurate information. Uh, where are they? Oh, it scrolls across. Gotcha. Jacob and Isao are unlocked, yes, unlocked by defeating Mother the once. So we uh, we unlock those on camera, I believe. But I'm a uh, let's uh, let's see what the Pika Run challenge is all about. Let's start there, and we'll see what to do from there onwards. So we are starting with heaps of trinkets. Okay. Jacob, Jacob and Sons. So, 
Is this going to be a run where it's trinkets only? It's a trinkets only run. Oh, okay. So, we've started with two items, which is Mum's Purse. Which allows us to hold two. And Marbles, which has spawned a whole heap of trinkets. And we also, we also swallow the trinkets whenever we take damage. So they become permanently fused to us for the run. And then we got Mum's Box, which is our spacebar item, which allows us to use or gather more and more trinkets. This could be an interesting run. It's to do with Pika the eating disease. Ah, cool. And then sure enough, we take damage. And if you'll see over in the top right now, we've now melded the sack and the counterfeit coin to our run. Oh, -ho. Okay, well this could be interesting then. So, I like the idea of the safety scissors and the dim bulb. Dim bulb gives us a stat boost whenever we have zero charge on our items. And the safety scissors stop troll bombs from going off, which is going to be massively beneficial in terms of just preserving our longevity. Okay. This could be a good run. This feels like a run that's actually... Oh, you see? You see? It didn't... It just turned into bombs for us. That's great. This feels like a run that could be very fun. And it has potential to just get out of hand very quickly. <laughs> Which is what I'm all for in this game. The only downside to Dim Bulb is that it's not active for very long. What, are you, what is this? Number Magnet. Well, I don't know what it does, so we will take it with us. You never know. That could be really transformative for us. Another trinket. Like from the fridge. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know what that might do for us. Can we hurt ourselves to swallow those again? And sure enough, they become part of us. Maybe I should have looked into what the number six magnet does before swallowing it. I can't do much about that now. <laughs> uh, we'll try and keep Dim Bulb, and the umbilical cord is relatively useful for us as well. The additional advantage to having Mum's box is that it doubles the effectiveness of certain trinkets as well, so it's any kinds of boosts that we are getting from the trinkets are more or less being doubled, which is mm, gonna do great. Want me to check? Uh, let's give it. Let's give it a moment first. Let's see if we can somehow discern what number six has done. If we make it to the end of the run and we still have zero idea what happened, then uh, we won't worry about it. There we go. So umbilical cord has given us a floating psychic Stephen to help us. And is that everything? I've got one more trinket here. It's the pearl. We'll take it. None of these trinkets, as far as I know, are too detrimental to our well-being. So we may as well take them. And it's the haunt to get things going. One of my least favourite bosses. For that reason alone. So he starts off with his three ghostly friends. Oh, God. This could be over before it's even begun. And we got to kill them first before taking on the horn itself. And it's just a side-to-side -side job like this. Watch out for those spread bullets. And try not to get hit at all. Ugh. It's all about calling when you need to cross his field of view. Because there's no tell to his attack, so you've just got to call it correctly. But that's okay, we've done it. Beautiful. Ah, Rainbow Worm. Ooh, I don't know about Rainbow Worm. Bleep bloop blop. Rainbow Worm makes our tears weird and difficult to predict. Um, so I'm gonna just leave that. Especially based on how we've played so far. I don't really want to keep on with that. Dude, what? 
Or was that just an exasperated comment at my really bad playing on the Haunt fight? <laughs> Come back for the red health. Evidently I need it. Because this is the thing as well, we're not going to get any health ups. All of the items seem to have been taken out. Other than ones that we can purchase in shops. So that's probably going to be quite useful for us. But if our only source of items is going to be shops, then we could be in trouble. We're going to need to protect ourselves a lot better than what I have done so far. That's why it's a challenge. Absolutely. However, hopefully the trinket, we're going to roll luckily on the trinkets. I don't know how many there are total in the game, but hopefully... Ah, some sacks. I'm assuming that that's what the sack trinket has done for us. It's given us a couple of bonuses. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, hopefully we roll, we roll well on the trinkets. And give me a Gemini friend now. And that will help us to survive. Okay. The extension cord creates an electrical beam between us and our familiars. So we'll have to hang on to that. I'm not too concerned about the devil deal chance that we've just lost. Because again, if we can't get items, maybe, ugh, maybe it's not too important for us. Oh, Gemini only lasted one room. Okay. I think there's a couple of hundred trinkets, so... <laughs> Whether or not we roll into the really good ones... That remains to be seen. But you never know. You never know in this game. Every It's kind of so diluted now. There are so many pickups and items and collectibles and stuff that there's absolutely no way to predict how your run's going to go. You've just got to roll with the punches. So what's everyone been up to since, uh, since we last spoke? Anything ha anyone had anything going on? Has anyone taken advantage of the fact that the UK is beginning to open up its doors? Red patch? Yeah, that's fine. Curved horn, goat hoof and cancer would be very useful. However, I... Actually, no, you're right. Yeah, they would be really useful. The missing poster. Um, I mean, we can come back for it if we need to, but it's not worth replacing anything that I've got right now. Not much. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. It's just... It's, even though the country's beginning to open, it's still not quite there yet. Oh, a couple of keys. Yes, please. And in our shop is... Not much I'm too interested in. The soul heart would be good. But otherwise... Uh, we might get some value out of that. We... Uh, kind of. Did some Easter revision yesterday with year 10, but... Oh, with 10 kids, not year 10. With 10 kids, but that's about it. That's fair enough, because you're not back to teaching yet, right? Is it still half term? Oh, careful. This is a really interestingly devised challenge, actually, because in order to buff your run, you've got to take damage. So it's, it's a really interesting game of resource management, this one. It's a, and about kind of reading the room a little bit. You need to know exactly where you're going to be and what you're going to be doing and what you need to make your run work. Okay, Bacano gives us some insects for our trouble. Perthro is going to be pretty much useless. And Hagalaz is... We'll use it. Destroys everything. Swallowed Penny would be really good, actually. Especially with the counterfeit coin that we've got. That'd be really good. And we'll take 
Uh, there's no real need for Plow Throw. We could re-roll the stuff in the shop. But... I don't know if we're going to get enough money to make it worthwhile. It is for me. Every school is different. Some are back. I'll go back next Monday. Gotcha. I think in fairness, keeping it on half term for longer, if if it's an option, is definitely better. It just keeps everybody out of the way for a little while longer. Let's all of the... Let's all of the infection and the hype die down a little bit. Everyone kind of stays at home a bit longer, stays safe for a while longer, and then can go back. A health up. More of that. What colour was that pill? Was that white with dots on it? We, we need to try and get more of those, because if we can't get health in this challenge, more of those white pills with dots on, if that's what it was, are going to be invaluable. Got him! Alright, what's next? A mum tattoo? <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen this game. Hello, Atlas. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Good afternoon to you. Looks all white to me. Okay. We'll, we'll maybe need to... We'll see. If we come across one of those pills again, it will identify for us. So we won't need to take the chance again, but... We'll have to bear it in mind. Oh, money, 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 money. Uh, resub notification never goes through? What? Oh, that's irritating. I see it, though. I see the number has gone up. I see... The... Wait, now it's... It's just gone up twice. What? Huh? I've seen the number go up, so... Thank you very much for the resub, Atlas. Very much appreciate it. <laughs> Even if the notification didn't come up. I don't know what's going I don't know what's going on. I hope it's a Twitch thing rather than a me thing, because otherwise I'll feel bad. I hope it's Twitch. But I see that. Thank you very much for the resub. It is very much appreciated. Twitch is whack. So Twitch got rid of the tool they have in place to stop follow botting. That's insane. Why would they do that? It's such an important tool, especially at the moment where everyone's being slammed with them. Why, why, why get rid of it? Doing all right, very, very sore from work. I'm about to leave right now. Oh, damn. Well, take care. Don't, um, don't exhaust yourself too much. Temporary tattoo. You feel braver. Dang straight, I do. All right, let's. Uh, I don't. I don't know what the temporary tattoo will do for us but I'm not noticing anything adverse just yet so maybe it'll be fine maybe it'll be fine Jacoby had to turn off follow notifications because I've known a few people who have just gotten absolutely slammed with hundreds and possibly even thousands at a time and then they want to get rid of the thing that I think it's because it's it wasn't like an official tool verified by Twitch so I think they've gotten rid of it so that they can basically implement their own but also at the same time like if it ain't broke don't fix it the follow bot problem is something that needs fixing but if Commander Root did the job just fine like why rock the boat Twitch devs are dumb no offence Twitch devs I realise that you've I'm kind of like your employee, sort of, almost. Uh, I'd like to keep relations good, so... No offence, but... What, what is your game? Don't forget to use your bits. Don't, don't, don't use your bits. Bits cost money. Use the channel points. The channel points. Them knickknacks down there. You can contribute to get me to play Bendy and the Ink Machine, which... On the surface is pretty much my nightmare game. <laughs> It's uh, not only a horror game, it's centred around the Max Fleischer era of animation, all the rubber hose characters, early Mickey Mouse stuff, that really creepy, weird drawing and art style. It's an absolute nightmare. I've never played it, I have no wish to play it, but you can make me play it. Uh, help me out, Mum. Thank you. 
<laughs> it was too, too much. There was too much going on for my current stats. So that, that needed some assistance right there. There we go. Everything's better. Beautiful. Meconium. Ooh, the fragmented moon card gives us extra secret rooms on the floor. Let's check our devil deal. And we can we can actually acquire items from the devil deal as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, the book is the monster manual, which we're not going to want to take with us because that's going to get rid of our spacebar item. The brimstone bombs on your hand might be cool. Uh, the Haikuna Matata about the uh, Binding of Isaac. Okay. So, let's think. It still says Commander Root is in chat. Oh, well, maybe they haven't gotten rid of him then. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Alright, let's have a look. So, so, we have Isaac and his mum lived alone in a small house. Isaac and his mum lived alone in a small house. She tried to kill him. There you go. Easy. <laughs> Isn't that projectile your tears? Which, uh... These are my tears right here. Uh, but we could we could take the monster manual on the off chance that we get more books and that will help out and brimstone bombs may help us in a pinch so I will take it however we do need to be careful about just giving health away like that that could be dangerous however I too like to live dangerously get in the basement also works for five syllables <laughs> <laughs> you and I both said she tried to kill him at the end. <laughs> That's like the main defining feature of this game. A little, a little young boy in a trying to avoid being killed by his mother. Okay, this is this is a lot of stuff for somebody who has absolutely no stat increases right now. Give me... So, kind of as Jay said, Mum had massive thighs. <laughs> um, kind of as Jay said, we are... Um, it would be... There are certain trinkets that we're definitely going to want to keep an eye out for. It would be great if we could get the curved horn. The cracked crown would be great. Uh, cancer would also be a truly fantastic thing to have for the future of the run. There are plenty of other ones out there as well. If we could maybe encourage some kind of soul heart generation, that would be great. Whole heaps of whole heaps of stuff. What we are relying on is Mum's box to give us those advantages. Mum's legs do be kind of horrific though. They really are. They're just like a big gelatinous mass of misery. Ooh! Boom. Alright, I'm off to work. Have a good stream. I will do hydration break. Thank you. Have a good day at work. As I say, look after yourself. You're beginning to ache. Take it easy. Oh, what is this? This looks... This looks scary, almost. The Devil's Crown. His special customer. What does that mean? Okay. And we get ourselves the matchstick. It's an okay trinket. Encourages more bombs to drop on the floor. That's acceptable. Especially with brimstone bombs, actually. Could be very, very good for us. Okay, we're playing this all wrong. We need to destroy the things that spawn in more, mo more monsters first. Oh my goodness me, this is this is going to be a tough challenge if we can't get some stats. What is that red door? I've never seen that before. What is that door? What does that door mean? What's the what's the red door? What 
What's the red door? Let's investigate the red door once I've gotten that key. Boom. Okay, that wasn't the health up. What makes you small is fine. Smaller hitbox. Okay. Okay, it's a kind of devil deal room. Is there anything great we can get? Oh, but it wants to hurt me. But... I do... I do like the tapeworm. Okay, we'll come back. If I can get some more health so that we can take that, then I will. Nun's Habit is a great get. Every time we take damage, our spacebar item recharges by one. So... Excuse me. We can get a lot more plays from Mum's box, which means that we can get our hands on plenty more trinkets and then buff our run even further. So that's a phenomenal item. That's probably one of the best items that we could get for this challenge in particular. <clears throat> Just need to try and make it work for us now though which isn't at the moment it's just I, I just need some more stat increases the only stat increase we get is whenever we use mum's box uh, ace of spades isn't too award winning for me it just means that more cards drop it's all right but uh okay let's go for the tapeworm Loop. There it is. Can I? I probably can't re-roll it again to get something else. Nah. Okay, so tapeworm is a huge range up, which is great. But that's kind of where we're at right now. <laughs> that's our only significant stat right now. So we do need to do something better than that. I I see the tinted rock right here. However, I can I can get to it. I can get to it. We just got to take another trip backwards. Rage, thank you for the bendy contribution. How are you doing today? I hope everything is all right for you. If we go back to the shop, we can buy the ladder, and the ladder lets us cross one tile gaps. Give me that. This is like this is how you min max this game. You take absolutely ages to do any little thing. Is there a secret room here? There is. He's so smart. SMRT. I mean SMART. You know. Okay, let's go back and grab that golden chest. See so now I can cross over to the other side. And that gives me the useless Perthro rune! Of course it does. The game, the game giveth with one hand and taketh with the other. That's just the way it likes to play the game. It's not the way I like to play, but I don't really have much of an option. Oh! Never mind, never mind. Another another new trinket. A lighter. Watch the world burn. And another trinket. A little lava. The poop is moving. Beautiful. Could be worse. Troll bomb and spiky chest. Troll bombs I'm not concerned of. And hello to you, the saltiest wizard. Hope you're doing well. Um, Yeah, I got the safety scissors. So troll bombs are absolutely zero consequence to us. They just turn into ordinary bombs which is going to keep us moving nice and smoothly for the time being. Should probably uh, take the soul hearts before I run into an enemy. Fluffed it. Hold R to restart. <laughs> ah, no! Leave me alone! I'm sure they've made the enemies smarter. Definitely didn't take this much damage to him before. Are my bullets flying over the top? Is that Tapeworm? Has Tapeworm ruined this for me? I think Tapeworm has... 
I think the tapeworm has ruined this. Never mind. We'll make it work. There you go, you got another trinket for me. It's the poker chip. The poker chip I could do without. The poker chip has a chance to double all of the pickups that you get from a chest, or it will give you nothing. I don't really want that risk. Uh, take me to the item room. That was the item room! I thought that was an extra special bonus. I didn't re- Oh. Okay. You know what? Suddenly I'm not a- I don't- Okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Another troll bomb. Thank you. Okay, the game is being kind of generous with me. But that was the item room. Okay. Well, that adds a new depth to the game. I've been cheated. I have been, but I'm kind of used to it with this game. <laughs> this game does just cheat to win. The Frail. With a, with a bonus ghost as well for our trouble. Easy. I'm not too worried about the frail for the time being. It's, it's phase two. Where the frail becomes a bit more of a menace. And here it is. He loses his skin and his bullet patterns become a bit more complicated and he just shoots big scary lasers at us. We don't want none of that. Easy! Sometimes he also does that. Careful. Ah, oh, I could see it coming. Could see the hit on its way. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's a sticky nickel. I have got tons of bombs though, and they're brimstone bombs as well, so let's just set that free. It was a very badly placed bomb because it did absolutely zero to the frail. So it wasn't wasn't my smartest move of all time. But I know you don't come here to watch me make smart moves like that. Easy, easy. This is probably the longest I've ever spent on the frail, but <laughs> That's it. Give me the stats up from the dim bowl. Let's end this. There he goes. All right. Oof. All right. Missed them. How goes the run so far? Been able to get to the corpse yet? I have been to the corpse and I hate it. That is as far as I have made it though. I know the game goes so much deeper and so much further, but I have not gotten anywhere near to it yet. And if it's anything like the corpse, it's going to be a very long time before we get to anything like that. <laughs> uh, okay, nothing else on the floor. I've got the super magnet, which just makes things complicated. Or a telescope lens. Seek the stars. If I had to take a guess, that's going to tell me where my item room is on each floor. So I can just beeline straight for it which would be incredibly useful. But yeah, other than that, runs not going that well. The, the game is so much more difficult and it is handing it to me so frequently. It does not show me where the item room is. Okay. Fair enough. Hierophant, perfect. A little bit of extra health right at the start. You'll love it. Oh, is the, is the lighter setting fire to some enemies as we come into the room? That's... that's useful. A little bit of passive tick damage, just while we... That was such a bad, bad decision. A little bit of passive tick damage whilst we gain our bearings in a room would be very useful. Uh. This is a great idea for a challenge. 
I have had one or two runs in Afterbirth that were like this, where you get hold of Mum's Box and the Trinket Smelter, and then you can just play these kinds of runs. But they're, they're not easy. Somehow managed to do it all with the Forgotten. I don't mind the Forgotten, though, you know? The Forgotten wasn't wasn't the worst character. I struggled with it, but it certainly wasn't the worst. Like, I'm really loathing getting around to having to do stuff as the Keeper again. The Keeper can just... I, I hate the Keeper. <laughs> like, it's definitely the most difficult and the least fun character that I've played as, in my opinion. There we go. Ooh, that perfectly played Envy Fight, even if I do say so myself, a little bit early. But I'm confident. Perfect. <laughs> Final stuff is great. I, I am looking forward to, to getting into it, but there's just going to be... It's going to take a while. Oh, don't you hate it? Don't like getting in everyone's grills. That is true, you do have to be ready to do that as the Keeper. I don't like playing with the soul, nor throwing my bone at him. Oh, are all my... Are, are these my item rooms? Are my item rooms now these red rooms where I have to... Okay, I don't always have to pay. Judas's shadow is worth taking. It's a good item. It's a very good item. Loving Bethany. I'm quite enjoying playing as Bethany, actually. Duct tape. Eh. We'll take it. Things could get dangerous now, but... I ain't afraid. I, I'm enjoying Bethany as well. I think it's, it's one of those characters that's really... That I think is quite simple to play as, but very difficult to play well as. And there's a few instances of that in this game where it's simple to simple to understand but difficult to master. Although I, what I will say is I did have a Bethany run earlier with the Book of Shadows and it was an absolute steamroll. Because <laughs> I think the fires that came out of Book of Virtues that shoot extra tears for you as the character they had the shielded effect on permanently, so basically the fires couldn't be destroyed, and it just created this pretty much impenetrable ring around Bethany when you get all of the fires active. I think I had, I think it was the max was like six or eight, but bullets couldn't touch me. Ah, oh, this would be really irritating if it weren't for the fact that I had the ladder. <laughs> Wisest investment of the run so far. But yeah, I took her to uh, I took her to Mega Satan and just kind of stood there and shot. None of the none of the bullets made it to me. I think enemies can still extinguish them, but in terms of like, it's a great setup for the bullet hell bosses. Uh, Humbling bundle has a chance to double all of the pickups for the rest of the run which I quite like the idea of so we'll, we'll roll with that oh the ladder the ladder may just be the best sleeper item in the game <laughs> it's an item I never ever take but it's it's use is incredible speaking of incredible Maggie's faith oh Maggie's faith gives us essentially some free HP at the start of each floor. So that's an incredible trinket to have. Oh, I was really hoping the brimstone bomb would do its thing there, but apparently not. There we go, we got it. Oh, you weren't the health up pill either. Hmm. Our trinkets at the mo- oh, The ladder! It's so good! <laughs> All of our trinkets are quite uh, quite defensive at the moment. What we need now is something that's going to 
give us stats and give us some offensive capabilities. Mega Fatty, I really don't have any interest in, so let's just let's just brimstone bombs. Let's just make this as simple as we can. Because <laughs> Mega Fatty is an absolute tank of a boss at the best of times, especially when stats are as low as they are for us. Um Brown Cap I think makes poops explode. That's exactly what it does. Uh, sure. Why not? I mean, chances are now I'm going to completely forget that I have that shoot poops for the rest of the run and always blow myself up. More sacks. More consumables. Brilliant. It's steady. The run's beginning to kind of move in an acceptable direction now. It's still very slow going, but it, it's getting there. Oh, the brimstone beams push bombs. Good to know. I'm glad we found that out in a room where it didn't matter, rather than in a boss room, for example. Because we've got doubled keys, this is always worth it. Especially for all of these as well. What are you? One makes you small. I'll take another one of those. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Health up! White pill, orange speckles. Let's get a let's get a look at it. These pills. White pill, orange speckle. Health up. Health Great to have them. Up. And Drowsy has slept. Oh, Drowsy pills never used to slow the player down. Okay, again, good to find that out in a room where it didn't matter. Yeah, explode the poop! <laughs> what do you got for me? The push pin is acceptable, but not immediately transformative. If and when we swallow the trinkets we already have, then I'll come back for it. Oh, that was a waste. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, it seems all of our item rooms have been replaced with these red ones then. I don't know, is that... I don't know what trinket that is. Is this the red six? I don't... Money equals power is great. Mostly because it's a damage up, but also with the swallowed penny and the counterfeit coin, for every coin we pick up, our damage is going to go up even more. So that's really useful. Uh, the child's leash uh, does something with familiars and I haven't got any, so it's not immediately relevant to our cause. I can leave that there, I'm also... Well, do you know what? It's better, th it's better than the... It's better than the... The brown cat. So maybe I will keep that. Oh my god. It's a kind of... A bit of a mind flood, but it's worth it for the damage increase. And we have to come back here for the boss anyway, so... Ooh. Whatever. It links them together. Oh, okay. Well, seeing as how we only have one... <laughs> there's... There aren't any to link, so... We won't, we won't worry about carrying that one with us any further. Alright, calm down. Good god, they never shoot that much. Cool it! Who put, who put caffeine in your breakfast? There we go. And Zeus, show us the floor. Turns out there wasn't much floor. Oh, I forgot we had the double moon card! Double secrets! Double secret rooms. Never mind. Soul Heart, very useful. I know we probably shouldn't be spending money, but... It's okay. I know what I'm doing. I just need I need some some more offensive offensive stuff now. Judas's tongue. Oh, Judas's tongue is incredible because we're having to pay health for our items more often than not. So, 
That's brilliant. Judas's tongue makes all devil deals cost only one heart rather than two on the cases where that's appropriate. So that's great. Just don't talk to me. Don't talk to me about that. <laughs> I hate myself for that damage too. It's very embarrassing. Ooh. There's a fire there. Yeah, alright. I saw it, I just chose to ignore it. Galaxy brain move there, pal. Oh my god, let's farm bombs. I got brimstone bombs and Envy's just going to keep on... Not Envy, who's this guy? Pride? He's just going to keep giving them to us. So... <laughs> it's a bomb farm. <laughs> keep them coming, boy. Are you done now? Are you just going to do that weird lightning thing now? Alright, well, we had our fun. <laughs> oh, hello, a new trinket. The friendship necklace. Gather round. Again, I'm assuming that's something to do with familiars, of which I have zero. So... Maybe we'll find out what that does at a later date. Don't push it out the way! Bloody Penny, I'm not overly infused by at the moment. We don't need to really worry about it. I'll take my chances. Okay, not quite what I'm after. We're not going to go forever on this, though. Two red chests. Have I picked up the left hand at some point? Okay, you do have gold ones as well. Oh! Hmm. Do I want either of these? I want these if I can take them without dying. But I don't think I really want either of those items, so I won't worry too much. Uh, excuse me, thank you. What is that trinket? That looks like a glitch, and as a result I am quite concerned about picking it up. <laughs> Especially in the middle of a battle. Oh, there's another- stop giving me the new one! <laughs> Give me the old good ones. Give me cancer. Give me cracked crown. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Give me the curved horn. Give me... Give me the, uh, the vibrant bulb. What are you? An old capacitor. Voltage starving. I don't know what that's about. Hello. Broken glasses. Double vision. And you are... M. Tis broken rolled distant. It mentions something about re-rolling and that scares me. So it's a no from me. <laughs> let's just let's just get out of here. I'm gonna keep the broken glasses on the assumption that they occasionally give us a double shot. And I have no idea what the broken capac capacitor is all about, but Again, I'm not noticing immediate, anything immediately detrimental, so we'll hang on to it. Fistula and Peep. This might be a case to use the, uh, the Devil card. To increase our damage. This is... This is a really unkind pairing of bosses, because they're all bouncy bosses. Like, Fistula just bounces and divides into more and more. Peep's eyeballs bounce around. Did I... I think I just heard a knock at the door. Bear with me one second, I'll be right back. Sorry, it seems weird, but I'll, I'll be back in a moment. Just bear with me.
You know, I thought it seemed weird. There, there wasn't a knock at the door. I was going to be like, what? How can there be a knock at the door at 8 p.m.? And secondly, how was I able to hear it? I can never hear the door knock. Anyways, <laughs> the ghost. As I was saying, like you've got Fistula who just bounces around the room, and then Peep's eyeballs just bounce around the room. Oh my god, just end every. Okay, Peep's out of the way at the very least. And then Fistula's just. just doing its thing. But nevertheless, we're fine. What are you? Ice Cube. Stay frosty? Can do. And the tick. Tick's great. The tick uh, drains some uh, some of our boss's health. Oh, look, hello. Gemini never wiggles around us. Is that what the gather round necklace thingy was about? Possibly. Now I have an option to reevaluate, and I still, I still don't think we need any of that. So let's get out and get down onto the next floor. It looks like this goes all the way to the cathedral, which means we've still got quite a way to go. Curse of the Blind. I don't think that's too important for us because we're not getting items. Hello. Polished Bone. Friends from Beyond. Okay. Well, we'll see. The downside of having the tick is that we cannot get any more trinkets in that slot. However, if we take damage, we can swallow it. So that completely removes that issue. And now we can go back to gathering two trinkets at a time. Why did my... Oh, I was going to say, why did my damage go down? It's because we got a charge on our, on our item. That's fine. I'll keep the ice cube again. Maybe on the off chance that that will randomly freeze enemies or something. We pay this guy money and he charges our spacebar items, so this could be useful. He doesn't, but he gives us cancer! Oh, that's so good. That really increases our fire rate. So we're shooting much faster now. So, brilliant. That, that was incredible. That was brilliant. Or you can get the matchstick to remove it. You're absolutely right. You can do that. Five bits. Thank you very, very much. Yes, you're absolutely right. You can use the matchstick to get rid of the tick as well. Uh, but we have already swallowed the matchstick. <laughs> Which means it's very unlikely that it will come up again. Isaac's bedroom. It's a bit of a state. If we bomb the carpet, maybe that will take us somewhere. We could just leave for the very next floor. However, I don't want to do that just yet. Are we going to get some pills? We get some pills. Neither of them are health up. Range down is a no, and drowsy is also not too interesting to us. Alright, moving on. Next room. Whatever these creatures are. Oh! He detached. These ones detach sometimes? Is that... Okay. Cool, thank you. I've now got a bone friend. Where does this challenge go to? Uh, I'm assuming just up here in the top left the icon next to the blocked out trophy is of Isaac's face so I'm assuming that this is going up to the cathedral um, so we've still got this floor to do two womb floors and then the cathedral before this challenge is complete two mystery items oh, what do you reckon do we take them or do we ignore them? Things are going in the right direction here. I, would, I don't want to ruin everything. Hey, yeah, some of our tears freeze the monsters. Which is great, because then we can just kick them and then they turn into non-obstacles. Take one. Maggie's faith is in play, right? Absolutely. You're correct on that. And also, as well, because we've got Mum's box, we get a whole red heart per floor rather than the eternal heart to carry to the end. So, gimme! Lil Brimstone. That's pretty okay. I'll keep him. And... Ocular Rift. Stare into the abyss. Uh, I have had this item before, and it shoots out these weird voids that just suck 
enemies into them. So it's it's kind of useful. It gets all of the enemies into one spot, so you can really do some good damage. However, it does make them a little bit unpredictable when moving around at times. So six of one, half a dozen the other. But I'm I'm okay with that. So I think the rest of this run is actually moving in a good direction, especially now we've got cancer. I'm I'm not getting charges on my spacebar item. My spacebar item isn't charging. Why is it not charging? Oh, is that what the broken capacitor has done? It's stopping my thing from charging? Why? For what benefit? What reason is it doing that? Why is that gonna... Is that gonna help me in any way? Moving box. Four and a half volt? Beat the juice out of them? Is that gonna help me earn charges now? Okay. We may have made a bit of a blunder by swallowing the broken capacitor if that's what's stopping. But now I'm fully charged again? What? Oh, because of the nun's habit, that's fine. Hello, soul hearts? Beth's essence, virtue's reward. Well, we're uncovering a lot of new stuff here, but keeper's bargain? What are these things? Okay, it doesn't put a sale on in the shop. Apparently it stops active charging and instead will spawn a little battery. I feel like I would have much rather had the active charging to... <laughs> uh, in fairness, we are, we are getting a lot of batteries now. Also, my spacebar item is charged a fraction of a bit. What? That's 4.5 volt? Wait, so now it's taking me twice as long to charge items? <laughs> this run was going so well, have I just completely ruined it? Slow worm. <laughs> have I blown it? Is this the end? Why was I getting a damage down? Why did I get a damage down? What's going on? I feel like I've ruined this run a little bit now by just kind of taking everything without reason. And now it's just completely, completely ruined. Oh, I do see, though, we are killing things and getting incremental charges as a result. I do see that now. Um, oh, okay, well, we're not going to get another chance, so let's just use up our remaining... What is that? The crystal key. So many new things. Sir Magpie, good evening. How are you doing, friend? Welcome. Who am I playing as? Oh, we're just playing as Isaac. This is a challenge called Pika Run. Um, and so far, well, it was going well up until this point. So you want the bad news? Give it to me straight. What have I done to this run that was going so well? Also, this trinket that makes familiars orbit you is horrible. I hate it. It's like the guillotine. I'm, I'm looking at Lil Brimstone more than I'm looking at me. I don't like it. Causes Isaac's active item to charge when Isaac deals damage to enemies rather than when he clears rooms or picks up battery. Ah. Uh, batteries don't charge anymore? So I have. I've kind of blown the run a little bit. <laughs> Never mind, never mind. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. 
a lot of this game is about making the best of a bad situation. Especially now. We'll see what we can do. Good, how you doing? I'm gonna get the DLC soon, it looks good. It's... like, be warned, it is difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. It is very difficult now that they've they've rebalanced a whole heap of stuff before the game. There's obviously so much new stuff that you now need to put time into learning. So don't expect it to be a cakewalk. It is now very tricky. But it's a lot of fun. Batteries do charge. Batteries charge me. I'm doing fine. Hello. What is this? What is this room? Got a red room? Not that kind of red room. Um, but I have got a red room. On the map. I'm not sure, got that from the wiki. Fair enough. Wiki, wikis, wikis can be wrong, I'm happy for that. You know what, if, uh, if the wiki says something and actually I'm doing just fine by it then. It's all good. I think as much as we may have ruined the run with the batteries and things like that, actually everything else is kind of holding its holding its own. We've gotten enough stuff now that things are beginning to go away. It's another red room. What are these rooms? These rooms are like redder than the others. They have their own map icons. Hello. Torn card. Death awaits. That feels like something I'm just gonna put back down and not carry with me. I've, I've already flubbed this run enough. <laughs> I don't want to carry around something that says death awaits. <laughs> that, that just feels like a recipe for disaster. Because like I say, especially given the the hardships that I've now made us begin to endure, we are making progress. However, I do need to stop focusing on Lil Brimstone. Next time I'm offered the opportunity to take that trinket that causes familiars to encircle, I shall politely decline it. Uh, just thank you. Torn card. Every 15 shots, Isaac will shoot Ipecac and My Reflection with very high range value. I've already got the tapeworm. If I shoot it, it might never come back down. The two will follow Isaac until it hits an enemy or lands where it will explode. That sounds horrible. Why would I want that? Hollow heart? A brittle blessing? I. For science? For science, let's take that card. I'm not going to use it. I just want to... I'm going to fire off the 15 shots and see what we're dealing with here. Oh, it went up. I saw it. It's coming back. Here he is. Okay. <laughs> so it goes up. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. I, ca I kind of get it, but it's an item that you've, you've got to really pay attention. And I... I haven't been. <laughs> I also don't tend to. So we're, we're just going to leave that one to the side. Mix that with host hat and that would be pretty damn powerful. You're right about that. However, this is not the run to be trying to make that trinket work for us. <laughs> oh, another battery. Yes, please. Seems like you could easily lose track of it. Exactly. Especially at the moment when my range is so high and it just shoots off into the ether. I'll forget that I'll forget about it until it lands on my head. The sun. Show me the rest of the floor. I keep forgetting I've got double secret rooms. <laughs> See? I just don't pay attention. So anything that shoots out Ipecac shots that I'm not in control of, I is definitely a bad idea. Loads of money. Loads of money! 
but absolutely no benefit from it because we're already capped on damage. Too far in now. Exactly. We're close. We've got two more floors. What is that over there? That's something we need to look at, obviously. Show me. You are the twins. I'm seeing double. Okay. My familiars! I've got another Brimstone and a Sister Maggie! And now I don't. Is it every enemy we kill gives us a familiar? Or something like that? No. Ow. Well, whatever it is, I've swallowed it now, so uh, we're stuck with it. Okay, we're done. There's another room! It's another one of those red rooms. What's... Huh. This is why I don't like Isaac. Not why I don't like Isaac. It's why I don't like Ed. He's just... <laughs> Ed just throws a whole heap of stuff into the games. And he's like, I'm not going to explain this. And there's another one. He's like, I'm not going to explain this. You've just got to deal with it. And the... There's a red secret room. What the... Okay. <laughs> Ed, what are you doing? I think... I think it's... Every floor has a chance of spawning a double. Oh, every room has a chance. Got you. It's certainly been doing that. Weird. Okay. Who is it? It's Mr. Fred! Good old Mr. Fred. And again, I got Twin Brim and Sister Maggie. Absolutely toasted Mr. Fred, though. Beautiful. Devil deal. Let's see what we got. Jay, you're headed off. Not a problem, friend. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good evening. Best of luck with the rest. Thanks. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. 15 cent guppy's collar. Acceptable. Oh, look. Are you kidding? Look how close my spacebar item is to being charged. And you're not going to give that to me? That black heart is tantalizing, but I don't want to waste the money on it. There you go. Oh, pinky eye for poison shots. Yeah, do that. And then I can take the flat penny as well. Cool. Uh, we tasted it. Aloha! How are you doing? Uh, we tasted it. I hope you're well. Desperately trying to fathom out all sorts of nonsense that this game has given me now on this weirdness. What are you? Teardrop charm. It feels lucky. Mm. Well, mm, it's going to be something to do with our tears, right? We may as well hang on to it. You never know. Doing well. We're getting there. We're holding it together. More so than I thought we were at one point. When, uh, when I... When I realised that we um, we'd messed up our charging for this run, I thought it was all over. But I think we're 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 holding it down. This is like the only trinket from Afterbirth that I have zero idea what it does. Absolutely zero idea. Good day, nice dinner. Trying to get a food potion together for the Insta. Very nice. What the? Oh, Curse in the Maze. What did you have for dinner? What is this nonsense? Give me some of that, though. I'll swallow those trinkets. They're quite good trinkets, so I'll have those. Something's wrong. 
You bet. Have they added a proper two-player mode yet? Yes, I believe there is... Uh, I believe there's a co-op mode now. Where you can actually play as two separate characters rather than a character and a familiar. Mushroom ragu with poached egg. Ooh. Well, the ragu sounds very tasty. Steady on. There we are. Holding it together. This has been a great challenge. I've enjoyed this challenge a great deal. Sure, give me the battery. A blue key. Look between the rooms. What do you mean, look between the rooms? I'm already getting weird stuff happen between rooms. What are you... Now I'm going to get even more weird stuff between rooms? I'm so bemused. Is that another health up pill I spy? Indeed it is. We'll take that with us just in case. We may need it. I mean, it says look between the rooms. I'm kind of intrigued. I'm tempted to just basically bomb between every single room now on the off chance of uncovering something. I've got the bombs for it, so we may as well. Okay, either that was just very fortuitous or... <laughs> is that the trinket doing that or is this the um, the double moon card? That is of zero use to me right now. Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. I'm not following what some of these trinkets are doing at all. They're just... They're just weird. I've got another room here that I didn't even go into. Hello. These weirdo side rooms. What is this? Cricket leg? Cracked crown! Oh, fantastic. And all stats up. That is the kind of brilliance we've been waiting for. Wiggle Worm is not so much. Where are these rooms going? Judgment? Yeah, why not? Blow him up for more Devil Deal chance. Thank you. That protects our bone heart when we come through. You're getting all the trinkets you wanted. It's, which is fantastic news, but I'm beginning to think that might be more as a result of the fact there may not be many left. <laughs> what are you? Mum's lock. A piece of her love. Okay. Callus, that's great. That's going to stop us taking damage from our feet. So creep, spikes, that's all. I'm shooting out the back of my head. What's making me shoot out the back of my head? Is that mum's lock? No. Oh, God only knows what's making that happen then. Okay, let's try looking between the rooms for whatever the blue key's doing. Blue key didn't do anything there. So I think we might just be on a bit of a wild goose chase with that one. Oh, now I'm not shooting out of the back of my head. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know what any of the things I've picked up do. Why did I spend a key? I've got the callus. I'm getting flustered. I'm getting flustered. Because there's just too much zaniness that I don't understand. I am going to keep looking for these red rooms though, because they seem to spawn all over the place. So it might be cool to just see if we can find as many of those as possible.
so much is happening. It's it's weird because we've been on this run for over an hour now. And for the fact that there is a lot happening, we've not actually had a lot happen. <laughs> you know? Like it's not We've we've not done a whole lot, is what I'm saying, even though it's been a a very valuable education in some ways this run. We've learned quite a lot about various trinkets. What's this? Dice bag. Okay. Give me another red room. I like it. I don't know why. There's just a vibrant bulb! Haha! <laughs> it doesn't seem to be any bonus to these red rooms. They just look like weirdo alternate dimension rooms. I've been given a D12. Where did I get the D12 from? Oh, the dice bag, maybe. Okay. Awaz, it's a crawl space! That's very lucky. And I got two trinkets that I don't... How does... How do I reach these? How do I reach that one? Is it like a secret passage or something? Can I blow up the walls, maybe? Well then, how do I... How do I reach that one? Because I know what that one does, and that one's pretty good. That one increases the fire rate of our familiars. So I do kind of want that, but... Never mind. Ah, oh, it lives! Okay, we're approaching the end of the run now. At long last, basically. Ready to move on to the... Ouch. Ready to move on to the, the, next, the next bit now. Ugh. Oh. Goathead is very inconsequential now because we're not getting any more devil deals. However, ceremonial robes is very nice. It's a small damage up, so we'll have that. Eternal D6? Okay, it gave us something, but... I, I don't want to take damage to find out what it is. Take me up. You ask as if we know. I have learned of this game by you actually playing. <laughs> There's so much stuff in this game that... I don't... I don't think you can know everything about it. We're discovering all of this together. So it is interesting. But... It's not one of the games that have a TV ad. No, it isn't. The, uh, the TV ad campaign for this one would... Well, it would certainly air, like, after 9pm. Let's put it that way. Or oh, maybe it's every time I take damage I get a new familiar following me or something. Again, I got another D12 and then it vanished. What? Post watershed, exactly. Well, now I've got two brims. Okay, so it's not to do with damage taken. It's... Right, I think it's time I head back into the basement also. <laughs> Come join me down here. Enjoy your run, I shall. And sure enough, there you go, just popping up in the bottom right. I see you there. <laughs> Enjoy your run. I shall. You enjoy your runs as well, my friend. Good to see you as well. Alright, we we are getting there. Stud finder? I don't think... Ooh! Okay, again, none of these I can really work with. So, we won't. I'll take that. What are you? Your soul? Give it to me! I can use it to pay for a devil deal! And I've just been given a D6 thingy, and neither of these are good, so... I uh, don't really have much use for those either. Okay. Uh, crack dice. Nah. What, what brimstoned me? Oh my god, we're taking a heap of damage. What's killing me? 
Okay, well that was that was kind of unfortunate. Maybe we need to be a bit more careful. Are you giving me a D20? Yeah, re- Mwah. Okay. I'm feeling like I, I've got a vague understanding of where we're at now. There's still a lot that I'm unsure of. The Blind Rage is a great trinket that increases our eye frames. And Blister for knockback, why not? Things keep exploding into brimstone beams, and I don't know what they are, and it's kind of unnerving. What are you? Gulp? gulp? I really don't need a gulp pill, because... <laughs> I've already, I'm already swallowing my trinkets every time I get hit. Seem to be getting a dice every time you enter a room. Ah, oh, you're right. I see that. I don't know what the D7 does. But you're right. We are getting a different dice when we go into a room. A D1? I'm not too interested in the dice, to be honest. I've got Mum's knife! Where did I get Mum's knife from? Why have I got Mum's knife? Beth's faith? What? What are all of these? What do they do? No, I haven't got the knife? What is going on? Oh, ouch. It's a random item. There's a red item room? I'm absolutely baffled. Well, let's see. Void consume. We don't need it. That was a, that was a waste of a trinket, but I guess we weren't going to be using it for anything else, so... It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm just baffled. What? Is that a... A free devil deal? Is it random devil deal room now? I am so bemused. I've got to take these big luscious lips. A HP up. Cool. <laughs> This is a this is a great run. It's a great challenge also. These totally rando runs that just make no sense are some of the most fun. Many trinkets equals madness. It sure does. It never equaled this much madness though whenever you kind of improvise one of these runs. It's another rat Really enjoying this. Are you actually looking at that map or just entering any open door you find? Uh, kind of a bit of both. So we are trying to find the boss room so that we can end this floor and indeed this run. But I don't know where the boss room is, so we're just kind of running into open doors until we find it. And here it is! Cool. Alright, this is where the run culminates. So let's do it. It's Isaac. Versus Isaac. Pendulum wrote a song about this battle. It's called Self vs. Self. Guest starring in Flames. Quite a good song. As I remember it. Skoldor looks like a boss room. Yeah, this is our boss room. We're here. We just need to finish it up. What the heck happens? I don't get what any of this stuff is doing. Oh, it was the void. It sucked him in. Gotcha. Well, here we are. This will this will finish it. He's out of here. There's our victory trophy. Winner! And we unlocked Ice Cube, our second favorite rapper in this game. Nice. Well, what a what a zany run. That was super fun. That was super duper fun. I would I would replay that one casually for sure. Anyway, let's actually go for a proper run now. Thank you very much, Five Isaac Bits. So, 
I want I want to try and figure out what this final gap is in Isaac's post-it note because then I think we've finished as Isaac so that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna have a go at that and we're gonna see what we can do and a lame item to start us off with a better item to keep us moving though bot, bot fly was actually really good that's one of the items that helped us to win against the beast uh, the, the, the mother beast greeny thingamabob in like the uh, whatever that big ugly green thing was that we fought Botfly was one of the uh, one of the big helpers for that, so we'll definitely take take it with us. Um, my theory is that in order to get to Mother, the green the green monstrosity thingy, we had to go through like the alternative doors, so. My thinking is that by sticking on the main path, we might be able to find out what this second, or like this missing post-it note mark is. That's my theory anyway. My game theory! We'll have to see. We may not even make it there because I have executed this first floor in a really really bad way <laughs> so oh my goodness me we just had a success and now now it's going to be over <laughs> if ice cube is our second favorite rapper in this game who's our favorite i don't know i don't know if there is actually any other item in this game that's named after a rapper none that i can think of there's the quarter which is half of 50 cent does that count? Probably not. It's a bit tenuous, isn't it? Alright, let's try this again. We'll do the same, but better. The game has actually given us the easier variant of the first floor as well, so maybe it knew that we weren't cut out for the run it was going to give us. What have we got in here? Oh, Hive Mind would be a great asset if we could finagle it. I'm going to bomb our donation machine for some extra currency and that looks like the exact number of funds we needed to purchase it. Don't you love it when things come together like that? That's brilliant. Hive Mind is an item that I always take on the off chance that it will be good. It increases the damage that our friendly insects do whenever we spawn them. It doubles it in fact. More or less. So... It's a great item to have if we have a way to generate insects. It's always an, it's just a nice item to have tucked away in the bank. Okay, our item rooms, I love it when they're in when they lead off of the same room. Uh I'm in trouble, Dave. I'm in trouble, Dave. I'm in trouble, Dave. I've been saved. <laughs> There we go. We negotiated it. Honestly, the stone, the fat stony creatures are quite unforgiving. The dunce cap gives us double shot, but we shoot diagonally rather than cardinally. And leprosy. Neither of these are particularly transformative. I'm going to take leprosy. Every time we get hit, a piece of us falls off. And I'm going to re-roll the dunce cap into ten bombs. All in all, not great. Would have hoped for more out of that. But it also could have been infinitely worse than what it was. So I'm not... I'm not going to complain. I just would have liked something better. <laughs> Talking of something better, I could really do with a soul heart or two. Just to protect our future devil deals. That's not it. Also, actually, but this is a perfect example. So now I can use Bacano to spawn in 
insects and they will do the double damage so we can use that on our bosses to make those go by a little smoother. I really do love how the items change the way you look. It's a really nice little thing to watch as you go through your run. Like, look at us here. This kind of bug-eyed weirdo creep with one solitary hair on fire. <laughs> It is really cool to see just how wild your character's appearance can get by the end. Easy, easy, easy. No damage, no damage. Perfect. Okay, we're good. We're nailing it. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We had a terrible first start in terms of kicking off the run. But now we've nailed it down. A luck up, things can only get better. However, this floor is going on for a while. I know it's an XL floor, but this feels like a double XL floor. Bigger than it should be. Okay, if one of you guys wants to just blow up of your own accord, that would really help me out. It would save me a lot of time and I'm in sort of a hurry. Oh, there we go. Watch out. A used, a used diaper. I don't really know what it does. Uh, I'm going to take damage in this room. I can feel it in my bones. Ordinarily, I would not take damage in this room. But since they increased the shot speed of these flies, they've become some of the most tricky first floor enemies. Okay, turns out my bones were wrong. I may need to get them looked at. <laughs> oh, what a guess for the secret room. You'll love it. A couple more consumables as well. That's good. Okay, oh, these are going to steal my spacebar charges, which would be really detrimental. Sorted. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. One more, one more. You're coming. There it is. Unbelievable. We've got so many bombs. I'm going to actually play for these coins. Ooh, ringworm. I don't want ringworm. If anyone's uh, cataloging the sayings from this game, I would be very interested to hear them at the end. Things like, oh, I don't want, I don't want ringworm, and yes, finally the game gave us cancer. Things like that. Oh, not the turdlings. Okay, the turdlings are where you use Bacano to get your supercharged insects out to do the hard work for you. Because these guys are difficult and I'm... This, this was probably where the feeling in my bones was coming from in terms of taking damage. Uh, a bomb. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Whoa! Okay. We just need, we need to kill, kill off their dips. And the problem is they leave Slippery Creek behind as well, so we're just going to go shooting off into God knows where. Okay, dip control. Dip control, there are too many dips! There are too many dips! Get them out of here. Oof. I cannot believe we got through that unscathed. <laughs> I hate the turdlings. <laughs> uh, the consolation prize. Uh, plus one to our lowest stat. Which in this case is probably... It's probably going to be speed, luck, or shot speed. Speed. Okay. And a little bit of cash as well. Alright. Hopefully something easier. Maybe, maybe pin. Another poop, another poop enemy. Okay, <laughs> Dingle it is, and it's Black Dingle as well. So it's Black Dingle spawning in the erratic spiders. Again, we could take damage here. We need to divide our time between attacking Dingle and destroying his spiders. 
Fortunately, Black Dingle seems to only charge once, which makes it a little bit more predictable. It is a super fast charge, but if it's only the one, it at least means that we haven't got to keep evaluating our position. We just need to get out of his way once. Whoop! Oh no! I wasn't I wasn't ready. I didn't have an evasion plan there, but we made it work. All right. First floor perfect. Woo. Zero damage run, here we go. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh, petrified poop! My god, there's... This run is just full of excrement. We faced the turdlings, Dingle, picked up a used diaper, and have now picked up the petrified poop. <sighs> so weird. Anyway, the stapler is a damage up, so definitely take that. I'm beginning to see a theme here. <laughs> Let's just hope that our performance does not reflect the the uh, the excremental nature of the start of this run. Devil Deal, what do you got for me? Some okay stuff. But... I don't, uh, is it worth a re-roll? More of the Void is pretty good, but... I don't know if it's takeable good when we've got a full re-roll. At least you know it won't be a waste of an evening. <laughs> uh, what do we reckon? Re-roll or take more of the void? More of the void, we can charge it up and then it creates a damaging ring around us. So it's quite good for, damage, for, uh, for crowd control. But that is pretty much it. I think, I think maybe re-roll, and if it still sucks, then maybe we'll go for angel rooms. You know, oh, ah, you know what? Let's do it. More of the void. Give it to me, and we we may as well re-roll these. See what we get. Nothing that I can take. Fine, whatever. Uh, okay, let's go. We're not going to worry about the. We're not going to worry about the alternative path. Did I get the item room? Did I get both of them? Yes. And... Yes. Cool. Um, when if I get the diaper again? Stay there. Stay there. Let's get out of this miserable first floor. This fecal first floor. And move on. I'm not wanting to be dealing with that. We will, however, keep the petrified poop. The fossilised faeces, if you will. And we'll move on. Uh, Alright, let's start by going up. And a little bit of cash money, money, money. My way. Hello. Uh, we can. I'm going to blow this guy up for increased devil deal chance. Brilliant. There we go. More of the void is useful. It used to be a lot better. You used to be able to earn health from this item as well. But it has since been nerfed. And it was also a damage up. But again... It was, it was probably, on balance, it probably was, oh, I thought we were going to take damage. It probably was a little bit too overpowered. But I did like it better when it had a damage up. And you could get health. Uh, the Ankh gives us a chance to respawn as the dead baby. And no, actually, I think the Ankh guarantees us a respawn as the dead baby. So that's fine. It just means that we might accidentally complete a check mark for the dead for the dead baby instead of Isaac. But whatever. These things happen. Uh, luck up, yes please. Two of them in one run. That's great. Told you things can only get better. 
Okay, yeah, more of the void has been very useful. Mum's box! We could have another crazy trinket run. <laughs> it does mean having to throw away the D6. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get one more full charge on the D6 so that we can take it to our boss room. Reroll the item if it's rubbish. And then I think I might cut... No, no, no. You know what? We've just had a zany trinket run. Let's have... Let's have an actual run. Uh, uh, no damage. No damage. We're all friends here. We're all friends. There's no reason to hurt me except in self-defense. However, I really don't want to give you the opportunity to activate that self-defense. There we go. Beautiful. Do you need to collect this card deck? Uh, which card deck? Um, okay, yeah. We won't, <clears throat> we won't worry about Mum's box. Uh, bye bye, Tegan. You got a card zero or so. Oh, the fool. Um, so those are just tarot cards that have different effects. So the fool will take us back to the room we started in. Uh, you can get cards that give you extra health or stat increases and things like that. Um, so they're, they're kind of similar to pills, except the effects are generally always positive. I think like, it's always quite useful to just have one in your pocket, just in case, for whatever reason. 90% and we got our devil deal. Great. HP and tears up is also very, very good. And it's a Krampus fight. Okay. Krampus is not so difficult. You just gotta kind of be alert. And it gives us the lump of coal. Which gives us which makes our tears do more damage the further they travel. So that's really good. What we need to work on now is increasing our range just to really make that useful for us. What we may end up doing is re-rolling the items in the shop, because we've got money to buy an item just nothing in the shop is particularly jumping out at us so we may as well do that uh, go on show me what you got a couple of extra keys are nice especially as we earn the one that we spent on the chest back from that so plus one key surplus is nice beautiful more of the void is doing the work I'm, I'm glad that we took more of the void in the end Uh, this is going to be our secret room, I think. Smug mode. What is that? That's is that's is that like a that looks like a is that like a giga battery? So is that going to like supercharge our our item? If that's the case, then I want to use the D6 now so that we can get the most out of it. What do you got for me? The ladder, the ladder was killer on that trinket run. I'll take the ladder. The ladder has won me over big time this evening. <laughs> ladder hype! <laughs> it does, it supercharged our item. Cool. So as it's an orange charge bar, that means that we've got two uses of that item stored up. Which is very useful because Curse of the Tower is a complete don't take that. Guppy's Collar, on the other hand, is a definite do take that. It gives us a chance at being resurrected. We have now unfortunately taken our first pieces of damage in this run. As you can now see by the pieces of me that are just orbiting me. But yeah, Guppy's Collar gives us an extra life. And is also one third of the way to Guppy, which would really allow us to leverage Hive Mind. If we make it to the Guppy transformation, we can spawn so many flyers and increase our damage output exponentially. 
So just a little bit further to go to make that work. Ah, oh, loads of red health that I don't need. Well, actually... Eh. Yeah, no, I don't think the bat wing's too useful for us. Okay, I think that's us done on this floor now. Indeed, there's nowhere else for us to go, so let's just go. Oh my god, the ladder! The ladder! <laughs> I, I am a complete convert to the pros of the ladder now. If I don't already have flight, and I come across the ladder and I can afford, I can afford it, I'm taking the ladder. Look at that, even Isaac's mum gave him a pile of poop in a box for a present. This run is just fecal smeared. Uh, I'm gonna sink a heart into this machine for some cash, especially because we can replay it. Oh, reclaim our health, sorry. All ladder, all the time. Absolutely. Oh, the enemy uncovered the secret room for us, you absolute diamond. And again, because we've got the ladder, I can get the pill. Shot speed up. Super secret rock. With the small rock inside. Nice. Little damage up, fire rate up, and and uh, a speed down, which is unfortunate, but it's a great item. We are just going exactly where the game did not intend on this one. Straight into a curse room. Nice. Instant teleport. Um, as we just have some soul hearts. I'm going to take spectral tears. Reroll the Book of the Dead. Fear shots. Nice. If we can make it back to the Devil Room, I will be taking Fear Shot as well, if I have the health to leverage it. You are... Bad Gas. Bad Gas. And... Oh, not one makes you larger. Larger hitbox is always bad news. Easy, easy, easy! Uh-oh, 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 we made it. <laughs> control the dips. Dip control. Ride slide, dip it low. Control your dips on them. Hot dang spokes. Yeah, more of the void is brilliant. This whole run, actually, although it's it, on paper it doesn't look like a particularly good run, in actuality it's doing some great work. This is Zodiac, I think? Cool, that gives us random horological effects on each floor. I'm not sure what it's given us on this floor. It's kind of tough to tell, but we shall see. Morgan! Hello! How are you? Welcome to this evening's stream. I hope you're well. Desperately trying to uncover some of the new hidden gems and secrets locked away within brand new Binding of Isaac game. And so far we're we're making a we're making a good hash of it so far. It's kind of uh it's all coming together. It is coming up as they say Millhouse. Uh neither of these are particularly great for me at the moment I don't think so reroll Champion Belt is great. Nice little damage up. Damage is always good in this game. It does mean that we have a higher chance of coming across more difficult enemies, but the damage up... Da damage is damage in this game. There's no reason to never not have big damage. The lovers. We don't need it. We don't even need the fool either, really, but like I say, it's worth hanging onto a card. I'm hopeful we can get another battery charge before we make it to our boss room. If we can't, it's not the end of the world, but it would be useful. 
the fecal motif of the run continues. I don't think it's something that we will ever escape. But we shall have to see what we can do. Oh, easy, easy. I wasn't looking at the screen, so I took damage. That's like the surefire way to take damage is to stop paying attention. I know it sounds like a, well, duh, moment, but it's worth reiterating sometimes. <laughs> Oh, it's the spider spawning spiders. Not as bad as the ones you can get on the first floor. The spider spawner spawning spiders are really bad. Speed down! Oh, that wasn't good. Our speed is definitely not where it should be right now. 0.88. We are slow. But I think we are ready to take on our boss at the very least, so let's do it. It's the Forsaken. And this shouldn't be too tricky of a battle, to be honest. The Forsaken isn't one of the toughest bosses, as demonstrated. We didn't get access to our Devil Deal again. Um, and... Oh, do we take health? I do kind of need health. I'm feeling dangerous, though. Oh! Experimental treatment. Some stats up, some stats down. The game was like, you feel like playing dangerously, do you? Well, let's see if you will put your money where your mouth is and just completely mess up all of my stats. Act Wait, hang on a sec, game. You ain't got me. There's a battery for sale. You ain't got me. I'm gonna roll right back out of that. I don't want that. Tears up. Far more reliable. Much better. <laughs> you thought you could get the best of me, Ed. You thought you could get the best of me. Not tonight, Ed. Not tonight. I tell you that for nothing. Okay, great. So, the Zodiac has given us... Uh, it's given us Leo on this floor, which means that we can crush objects by walking into them. Sometimes it's very useful. Other times, like, not so much. But we'll see what we can do. We can make it work. What I am conscious of is that I probably should have taken the health. So, this could go all sorts of wrong, in all sorts of ways, very, very quickly. But, that's, that's my problem. That's my problem. Oh, are you kidding? You're giving me gurglings? A lot of them as well. Did I have to tread on that button? Or was the room already open? I didn't see. In any case... Not cool, Ed. He's like, ah, oh, so you want to take me on, do you? <laughs> well, read them and weep, sucker. Okay, more of the void is going to be probably our best friend in this situation, where masses of spiders are leaking out of these things. There they go, nice. It's enemies like that as to why more of the void no longer gives you health, I reckon. What have we got? Steam sale? Is honestly probably not that useful given how we've only got one more shop and our money's kind of okay for the time being, so I'm not gonna spend money on it. Oh, watch out! I would like to find the item room though, so I can go in there with a fully charged D6, so that we can re-roll it. We should probably be crushing all of the obstacles as well, just in case we open up the way to a crawl space, which might have some good transformative items in it. Especially on rooms like this, like why am I going to bother doing the puzzle 
and I can just ah oh, crush my way through it. However, please be a hero fan card. That would make my day. It's another full card. Okay, <laughs> that's not quite what I was after. But I guess it's totally appropriate. We did take some uh, some dumb damage right there, so maybe it's appropriate that it was a full card. It was just it was just mocking me. The Hanged Man is zero use to us now because if we fly over the rocks, they're just going to break. Can I? I can make a bridge over though. Nice. The moon for the secret room. We haven't found it yet, so take me there. It's not a million miles away from us. Hello? Oh, okay, there's a couple of spiders. Still no item room, though. Ah, here it is. Complain loudly enough and your prayers will be answered. That may even be a tagline for one of the items in this game. Sounds like it could be. We should definitely break the skulls. If we're not going to break any of the other obstacles, the skulls we should do because they might give us black health or black hearts, which are important for our health situation right now. Lil Horn? No. I know I didn't want it earlier, but health now would be great. Forget me now. That's not health. Forget me now means that we can restart the entire floor. Which is... It's fine. It gives us another chance to earn some more items. But I don't think we want to be putting the time into that. Unless we reckon it will work out. In terms of replenishing our health. Eek. Soul hearts? Black hearts, please? Anything? Or none of the above. Eek. Okay. Not feeling confident. Oh, we could... We can ladder across the first pass part of the puzzle. That is a loud helicopter going on out there. Would you... Cool it, please? Unbelievable. It's almost like aeronautics have absolutely zero respect for what I'm trying to do here. The cheek. Tell me about it. You know, I mean, I appreciate something may have happened. Air ambulance, possibly, you know. There's probably valid reason. But, like, you just turn them rotors down just a little bit. I'm not asking for much. Just a little bit of silence. can't remember any of the lyrics to the song of Sa to the song sound of silence otherwise there would have been a joke still no soul hearts this is bad this is very very bad we're in a vulnerable position oh especially with things that have homing tears uh oh please live Whew. i'm alive we don't actually need to fight this room. I have a full card. We could teleport out. However, we've done it now. So... <gasps> it was a rigged chest! <clears throat> I hate those things! I haven't once been able to discern a rigged chest before I've walked into it. Help me sack, you're my only hope. That is not a soul heart either. I walked into a bomb rock and that took away my devil deal chance. I'm an idiot. The full card is very aptly, uh, very aptly in my pocket. Dang it. There goes our devil deal. <sighs> Hello darkness, my old friend. How appropriate now. We're in a very, very bad spot. And chances are the game is never going to give me any kind of health upgrades for the rest of the run. It'd be like, nope, you didn't take it when I gave it to you. So, tough. 
Ooh. Analog tears. Not only is it a tears up, but it now means we can shoot diagonally at our own choosing. Which is could be pretty useful. I always forget to use it. Because it's it just doesn't kind of it just doesn't come naturally. But useful. Hey, come on, soul hearts, you know you want to. That's not well, it's probably more useful to us than the petrified poop is now. But still. Oh, the Mask of Infamy. Oh, the Mask of Infamy is a difficult boss. We're being hounded by the Mask, first of all. It's made easier by the fact that we have more of the Void, because the Mask can normally only be damaged from behind, so you need to get around behind it. But more of the Void makes it so much easier. Bar of Soap for a Tears Up. That's great. And we actually still got our Devil Deal. We probably didn't deserve it, but we got it. And what have you got for me? You got the Mark. Which is a damage up. It will cost our health, but I think the Mark gives us some health back, so we should live. Indeed we do. It doesn't give us as much health as I thought it would. But. That doesn't matter. We're fine. So, the next floor. There's a door. I don't... This door. I've not seen this door. And I don't... Can I bomb it? Is that how we get in? You don't bomb it. Okay. I need a photo. Photo of what? Oh! Oh, do you mean the Polaroid or the negative? This door... Uh, th does the door open when we beat Mum? Uh, the door opens when we beat Mum, which means we need to be able to teleport out. And we've got we've got a full card. This could happen. Or the faded photo. Oh, like the trinket. We've got a full card. We could just don't freaking throw it, please, self. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. All of a sudden. Things are getting exciting. We could be on to some major progress here. Okay, we haven't got Stompy anymore, remember that. Ace of Hearts? Nah. Give me Soul Hearts. Well, to be fair, I didn't say please. That'll take me home. Country Roads, West Virginia. That's what I need. Secret Room? You know it. I knew this would be an educational stream. Those are the best kinds. We don't do we don't do proper education here. We just do Isaac education. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, easy. You could very well be onto a onto final boss run. Because I I had a I had a little sneaky peek at the menu. We have one ending to unlock, and it is all, all written down throughout the thing. It's like end one, end two, end three, and in the endings list, it said final. So like the final ending. So we could, we could. I I highly doubt that we will, if uh, if that green mother monster fight is anything to go by we don't stand a chance <laughs> especially we're dead i'm alive especially as now we are really struggling but things could happen i learned sign language for the word pub today that's cool i was about to ask what it is but then realized that you can't really show me what it is so what we may have to do in fact you know what let's let's do let's do a little pivot we've not done an internet pivot for quite a while it is very important especially now so uh sign language can't spell language great start for pub <laughs> okay you need to mind pulling a pint really Flat 
non-dominant hand held horizontal in front of body, closed dominant hand held above moves towards body and twists at wrist. That's it. That's literally the sign language for pub. And he's pulling a point. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else I expected, to be fair. But there it is. This guy's got the motion down. You just... Oh, out like that. And then like that. There you go. I'll hold this up a bit. There you go. Just... Da -da -da -da. How cool. <laughs> That's brilliant. I will remember that. Because I always thought... I, I don't know why I always thought this. Probably because it's just the universally acknowledged sign for beer. I always thought that sign language for pub was like... <laughs> That's BSO only. Uh, the What we were looking at there was for BSO. I don't know what it would be for other sign languages. That's pretty cool. Let me into Isaac's room. Great. So, we could bomb the carpet. And that takes us to the next floor, which we don't want, apparently. The dresser. Nay, this is for you. Should we say how interesting the transformations are? We can... Or we certainly, certainly used to be able to just kind of head up to the dresser and change our appearance. But it doesn't seem like that works anymore. You could, like, change what your character looks like by... Oh, it doesn't look like that happens as much anymore. Never mind. That's a lot of pills. So if I take a rest in the bed, that should heal us for some health. And sure enough, it does. Okay, suddenly we're back in the room. Bad gas is a no, no, and... Hey, that's just counteracted the larger pill we took earlier. That's great. We need to keep hold of the full card, though, to make use of that. Need to check for Germany. Need to be prepared. Absolutely. We're moving into that time now. Now we're regular. Item room. Item room. Wherefore art thou item room? That's all I'm looking for now. Another pill. Dare I? I dare. Shot speed down. Not the worst thing to ever happen. Like, I, I can foot that. Out of all the stats, a shot speed down is the one I care about the least, to be honest. Especially when it's followed by a shot speed up. <laughs> uh, hello. Free lemonade? Oh, it's like, a, it's, a, it's a lemon mishap on demand. Okay, well, re-roll. Oh! Bleh. Oh, strange attractor. Was, presumably still is, one of the worst games. Or one of the worst items in the game. To the point I'm not even interested in... in exploring it any further. Sack gave us a battery. I don't know if I'll recover enough charges to be able to re-roll our item again. But we'll see. Oh, the file! We had this on, on a run that we did on stream, and it was the highest tier of trinket ever. It completely files down all of the spikes in the game. You you don't take damage from walking on spikes because they simply do not exist. And that includes curse rooms. It's such an unbelievably good trinket. Especially if you're really clumsy like I am. <laughs> if you keep that still, that's the letter F. Where? Oh, sorry, I missed that. The sign is strange. Index and middle finger tapped onto index and middle finger of the other hand. That's... That's German sign language for the pub? If you keep that still, that that's F? <laughs> the more you know. That feels like, that feels like a wasted opportunity. Flip my left hand over. 
Oh no? So it's... I don't know. We should have a BSL stream. Keep it still. Now you said bar in German. That's an F. It makes an F shape. Okay. Epiphora. It's better than Stranger Tractor. Let's put it that way. Epiphora, the longer we shoot in one direction, the faster we shoot. So you'll see it going up on the side. You'll see that we shoot faster as well. Really good item, actually. Oh, the spray becomes more erratic as well the faster you shoot. Thumb to pinky is the five vowels. I know that one. You got A E I O U. I remember that. That's pretty much all I know. Uh, okay, so now we're on to the mum fight. We need to be able to teleport out. I've got the full card which will let us do that. So let's do it. Now, this is just regular standard mum. We've fought mum several times before. There's nothing too taxing about this. We may still take a little bit of damage. But it's certainly nothing like the, the mausoleum mum that exists on the alternative path. That is a, is a really gnarly foot as well. <laughs> the delirium portal. 100% no way. Teleport me out. Okay. So we got the picture. And... Thumbs pinky. Sign scroll. Going to unlock B-side B-side Isaac? What? I don't know. I, uh... We're kind of feeling it through. I got my devil deal! But it freaking sucks! So never mind. I, uh... Run into the door. Okay. For the first time. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. Is, the, is this the mausoleum? Oh, don't take me down to the mausoleum. I hate the mausoleum. Don't take me to the mausoleum. It's taking me to the mausoleum. I hate the mausoleum. <laughs> Oh, I was literally just saying we don't have to worry about Mausoleum Mum. Here we go! Oh, you're in for a treat. Oh, no. You'll still get an item room and a shop. Okay. I bet they'll still suck, though. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we're going to get something good. Okay. You'll start teleporting up. Use it! Use more of the void! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to we need to play some serious Isaac here because the mausoleum is a difficult floor. Stop it! These telekinetic guys are terrible. I really hate that Maw doesn't give hearts anymore. I honestly, if Mausole if a uh, mausoleum, if um. More of the Void gave hearts, I would be so much happier with my existence. But we have the ladder! My god. The ladder, I am a... I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm a complete convert to the ladder. 100% of the time now. By the way, we did this last time. We're going to do it again. Can we get some music up for the mausoleum? The mausoleum music is incredible. That's probably why I find the mausoleum so difficult, is because I spend far too long jamming out to the music rather than actually focusing on trying to play. Oh, have portals been buffed? Do they just stay in forever until you get rid of them? Again, that's not good. I can see forever! Hopefully that'll be of use to us. There's a new item that does it instead, but you have to take damage. I mean, no problems with that. I can take damage very easily, but... Uh, the watch battery is nowhere near as good as the nail file, as like the, uh, the spike file, so... That can stay. Okay.
Okay. It just sounds like Gimpy with more steps. <laughs> oh, I hate these guys! I hate them! The tongue... The tongue whippers are horrible. Get out of my way! Leave me alone! This is the end as we know it. Oh no. Ghost Pepper or the Unknown? Ghost Pepper isn't awful. So... We'll see. Oh, Blue Fire! Okay. Okay. You get Devil Hearts instead and you still get Black Wind. Okay. Ghost Pepper can save runs. Hopefully this will be one of those ones. Honestly, Soul Hearts. I mean, a Greed Fire is definitely not what I want. Are all the items active at once? Um, so, all of these items over on the right hand side, these are all passive, so these are active 100% of the time. Whereas this item up in the top left, I activate when I want to by pushing the space bar. And the green bar next to it represents its charge, so I can only use it when the bar is full. Ghost Pepper is actually doing some serious work, however, I am not feeling optimistic right now. It's time to start bombing the blue fires for Soul Hearts. Okay, well, a luck up. <laughs> Whatever. Or maybe some skulls as well. Now would be a great floor to have Leo again. What even is Zodiac doing, by the way? We've had Zodiac for ages, and so far the only discernible thing it has done is given us Leo on one floor. Other than that, I can't say I've noticed a single thing from Zodiac. Have they changed how that works? I thought you got a different sign every floor. You know what? We just we should just go to Mum fight. Rather than making things difficult, we should just go to Mum. Why am I still Oh you tease. Why am I still trying to push through this? Let's just go and do the boss fight. Can at least get B side Isaac, but the fight with the true final boss is Okay, so, at best, have I got, I haven't got to do Corpse Mum, I, I presume. Wait. Dad's note. It's going down. Oh no, are we going to get backstory? Okay. Going to hear voices. Okay. Volume up. Be ready for the dialogue, there's some every other floor. Okay, volume up on everything. In the words of Aerosmith, I don't want to miss a thing. Okay. This music is... the music's horrible. It's all reversed and weird, I don't like it. Time for sadness. Don't be saying these things. I mean... When I got the uh, the ending after defeating the... Uh, after defeating Green Mum... That cutscene nearly moved me to tears. The voice acting was so good. Up I go. Is it worth doing the other rooms? Probably not on 2 HP, I guess, but... True final boss ending made me cry. Oh my gosh. Do you know what, then? If they... That's up to you. If there's no immediate benefit, then never mind. On 2 soul hearts, no chance. 
Oh god, we are actually going up. Was this... I mean, was this the one that made them go... Yes, that's the one that makes our familiars go around us. I don't want that. I had some rooms empty. To be expected. Soul heart. Thank you. Thank you. Keeping us in the game. The game is like dangling the carrot now. Oh, what are you? Don't be doing those. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You didn't tell me about enemies with, like, new enemies. Okay. Come on, Ghost Pepper. Do your work for me. Gotta keep some secretas. Keep some secrets. Yeah. Yeah. God. What are you? Bacano! No! I mean, yes, kind of, because we've got Hive Mind. That's that's great, but... Take me up. He's self-destructive and disturbed, just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. And you're drunk again, aren't you? Shut up, man! Shut up! Just keep pushing me like this. I'm leaving. Good. Leave. We'll be fine without you. Abandon us like you've abandoned yourself. Oh, damn. I'm feeling it. I feel it in my soul. Confirmed Isaac's mum is now named Maggie. So, all this time... Coin amount. Eee! We got the hat number of coins. Is the... Man. Okay. Oh, a tarot machine. Let's soul hearts, please. Help me. This could this could be good. This could keep us in the game a little bit. What did it give us? It gave us a soul heart! Keep going. Trinkets, cards. We'll go to 40. Okay. The Fool. Don't need any more of that. Once you get up to the caves and basement, you'll encounter high-level champions that have boss art. What? Oh, no. I'm beginning to get the feeling that as much as the game is trying to keep me, uh, keep me going, it really doesn't want me to get further. <laughs> It's like, we'll help you out. A little. In that case then, I'm wondering... Oh, I already blew it up. Okay. Oh, he's giving me Leo again. Great, okay, thank you. Okay, Ghost Pepper is a incredible item, especially with six luck. This is we're basically into flamethrower territory now. Signs Crow, thank you very very much for the bits. I see you are a veteran as well. Good luck. Oh no, oh no. I've got a Bacano rune. Hopefully that'll help us a little bit. Oh God. Definitely not. I'll be fine. 
It's because it's all new and it's something different. I. Oh, that was so stupid! <laughs> That's one of the simplest, simplest things in the game. All right, take a moment, breathe. Shouldn't be taking damage like that. Shouldn't be taking damage like that. Slow down! <laughs> All right. Does anybody know if it's if the dialogue is tied to sound effects or music? It's sound effects. Okay, I can turn the music down a little bit then. Just make it a bit more comfortable to listen to. Uh, I think around 200 hours into Isaac on PS4. Repentance was given a lease date. I started a new file on Steam. It's a lot to of work. Repent. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. You are insane. You are taking this too far. Can't you hear how you sound? Pray with me. Pray for your salvation. Come, pray with us, Isaac. Oh, good God! This is getting Morgan. Hello. Catch some just catch some before you end. Just walk. Oh, you just walking home from work. Cool. How's uh, how's it been being back at work? Has everything been everything been okay so far? I know it's only been a couple days, but uh, has everything been all right so far? Okay, host. Oh, easy, 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 easy. That was such a good flame flamethrower attack. I get out of it. Oh, the game is just. I am nervous. I don't want to. Oh, hello. Is this one of these fancy boss champs that you were talking about? Don't do. It. Okay. <laughs> Holy moly. All right. Oh, is it too late to be taking unknown pills? What if it's a health down? What if it's balls of steel? Oh, tears down! But we're fine. Cool, I'll take that. Easy so far, getting out well early, but miss closing the bar at night. Never mind. Never mind, at least things are going okay for the time being. That's one of them. That was a pretty, uh, that was a pretty gnarly enemy right there. Okay, take me up again. Oh god, we're in the... just can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. Please, please don't leave us! I'm sorry, Isaac. That was the same voice! And he went, I'm sorry, Isaac. That's the same voice that's giving the intro narration. That was the exact same voice as the intro narration. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. It's from the perspective that's been told by his dad. If you get past the basement, you also unlock the red key that has some broken some runs early on, like Tech X second floor. Ooh. You win, game over. First they had a group that were wasted, but they had every right. Just need to be... They don't have every right. Just because they haven't been to the pub for a year doesn't mean they get to go and be wasted prats. Just need to be careful with cold. No, 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 no. If you decide to go out to the pub now while it's freezing cold, that's your problem. Sit outside and suck it up, buttercup. Okay, couple of... Couple of... Champion... I thought my more of the Void had been taken away from me then like that back ass woods challenge but we we got there i really really hope you get the true ending likewise i i'm going to presume i'm miles away from a true ending 
Key back. Thank you. Easy. To take damage to one of those right now would be highly embarrassing. Obviously, if more of the Void was giving me Black Hearts, I would be so much happier right now. There's the way up. A year of lockdown should give people enough time to remember how common manners work. Exactly. Been wearing a jumper, so I'm not worried. Away I go. But... I don't... You're right, we should just go. We should just go. The Ankh? I could resurrect myself. We should just leave. Take me up. Take the Ankh. Oh, we missed. Whoop. Oh, we've gone back one. I don't like where well, I don't like what's, where this is where this is heading. Can you blow up the rug? You can, but there's nothing there. There's nothing there. But there should be a trapdoor to the basement. There's nothing there. <laughs> okay. I'll guide you to getting B side Isaac. Uh oh. I did lose it a bit because this couple thought it was okay to come right to the bar to No, it's not. It's not okay to go anywhere in a public moment. I'm in for a treat. Oh no. It's actually it's actually the house. The photo of Dad's got a cro has been crossed out. There's the, there's the photo of mum on the wall. Damn. Like a closet. It's the TV room. This is where Isaac's mother sat watching her Christian broadcasts on the television. Did you blow up the TV? You don't blow up the TV. You can't sit in the couch. Okay. It's Mum's room. Oh look, you got the Bible, the purse, lipstick, perfume, eyeshadow, pills under the bed, Mum's box. Keep exploring. They stunk of weed, so hopefully they've had a warning on it. Yeah, yeah, no, you just bar them right out if they smell of weed. You're like, I don't want you in here, get out. Go into mum's room, open the chest, and you'll get the red key. I have indeed gotten the red key. D6? Oh! <laughs> I, I presume not. Explore the other side. Pick it up and go back into the hall. There's a red outline. That that freaky trinket that we had in the Pika run, that kept on taking us into the into the red zone. is everyone been things I, I am well I'm having my mind blown by this 10 year old game at the moment it's me but beaten and bruised and blood <laughs> it is really sad Ed what are you doing this is supposed to just be a ten-year-old game about poo and blood and pee and like shooting weird abominations by crying all over them. 
B-side Isaac. Every character. Every character has one? Do you just have to do the same for every character, I guess? Hi, me. Oh, by me. I unlocked Isaac. But I am, I am him, and he is me. Okay. Weird. Excited to be off tomorrow? Oh, I'm streaming tomorrow. Nice. Well earned day off. Well, including new ones as well? That's the secret behind... Okay. Oh, God. 34? <sighs> okay. Well... How do I... How do I leave now? There's no front door. <laughs> Am I just stuck here? Do I sleep? No. Mum's bed. Right, okay. Oh, God. Excuse me. Uh, Bacano. Give me, give me the insects. I don't feel like they're going to help. If anything happens, don't get discouraged. Oh well, great. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh god, the TV's on. Is there anything else that's going to help me here? I'm presuming not. Okay. The boss themes are banger. Good luck. Oh no, ten lucky bits, okay. What Instant hit, okay. Okay, destroy the TV, destroy the brain. Okay, TV out first. Crank that right up. Oh, this guy's got Godhead. That's not fair. I haven't got Godhead. Easy. Phase two? Of course, you know there's a phase two. Okay. Oh, like a haunted spider? There's lyrics! Yo, it's not just lyrics, it's like scripture, it's... It's verse. Where's he gone? Cool. Oh, oh no! I'm alive, but have to do it all over again. <laughs> Ouch. This is definitely... That this is definitely not a boss that you can do on like one health. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, blue baby! Let's go. Small damage boost, three hearts. Let's <laughs> this, this is where this is where the run is going to end, I can tell you that right now. We we're not gonna defeat this run. We're not we're not gonna defeat Dogma. The spin to win attack is next to impossible to dodge. Great. If you survive the next phase, you get flight and three soul heart. Okay. Thank you for the lucky bits. I don't know if they'll work. At least you get some sort of boost, but... I don't know if we're going to do it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Static. Oh, you're sending me, you're sending me notifications now. I can't. Oh, the TV hurts! 
freaking hell. <laughs> Stop bringing me back, Guppy. Guppy's collar is just determined to not let this end. Jay, thank you very much for the resub for nine months. Congratulations on the birth of your subscription. Guppy's got faith in you. Guppy shouldn't have faith in me. It just... It just... It didn't travel. It just rubber banded. Oh, man. Signs Crow, thank you very, very much for the follow. Welcome to the tack pack. <sighs> Oof. Or the rebirth, the afterbirth, the repentance of your subscription. Dang. Well, my mind has been well and truly blown. I knew the game went deeper, but that was some insane lore. Sean, thank you for the rip bits. <laughs> that was some insane lore drops. That was... That was brilliant. <sighs> Dang. I need to digest that. B-Side Isaac doesn't have the D6 and can only carry up to eight items. Well... E. Oh! More options, less room. Maggie, Cain, Judas, Dead Baby, Eve, Samson, Azazel, Lazarus, Eden, Lost, Lilith, Keeper, Napoleon, Forgotten, Bethany and Jacob. Oh my god, listen to the music now. The game just doubled itself. The game literally has just doubled in size. But the item rooms alternate items. Okay. Let's... Look, I'm, I know we've only got 15 minutes left of stream, and so starting a new run feels like a really dumb decision. But, I am so intrigued, and I don't quite want to... Small Easter egg, look at the Windows icon when looking at the B-side. Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you guys can see this as well, just about. So if you look down into like the bottom, where my mouse is for like the game window right here. Currently we're on the regular characters. This might be a bit tough to see. But, if I switch character, like, Isaac's sprite gets a bit bloody and bruised and stuff. And the same in, like, the top corner as well. It might be a little bit tough to see. Like, you might not be able to make out the detail, but you can just about make out that the sprite changes. That's really, really cool. But, as I say, we've just unlocked them. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm not holding out much hope that we'll make much of this, but let, let, let's see. So, immediately, yes, can confirm, no D6, can also confirm this up here in the top left. Okay, it's not an XL floor, so let's start with our curse room. Oh, oh, I see. So we can either have Plan C or the Shade. Well, you take Shade, because Plan C has no use for me right now. Okay. Also, I feel like Shade is a little bit better now that it follows you a bit more closely. I feel like it would be a bit, bit of a better item. Hot Bombs or Pop? Honestly, I think Hot Bombs is the way to go on this one. But I'm going to take Pop anyway because I'm a drummer and my timing is impeccable. Do I get to swap out the 8 or do I can I only pick 8 to last for the run? Off sorry it was it is off catch you later. Good run. It went. I'm thrilled that we managed it. Thank you for coming back and for um, 
guiding us through it. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Ah, darn it. Trites are the worst. You know which enemies are the worst enemies because they're the ones you know the name of. I just unlocked Bethany before joining. Oh, nice. Bethany's a great character. More galaxy brain play. Shut up. When you pick up more than eight, you drop the first one. You can cycle it out from there. Got you. Okay. That's fine. Because otherwise, if it's like you only get eight across your whole run, I wouldn't have wasted two slots on shade and pop. <laughs> Golden key. No use here. I mean, like, the pop is okay, I just, I feel like I would rather have my tr my tears just travel rather than kind of bounce off of each other and be a little bit more unpredictable, you know? And also, hot bombs would have been great to get us a soul heart, but what can you do? I don't know, maybe uh, actually grab the item you were supposed to? That was a good run, great entertainment. <laughs> my fault, wasn't watching, I was reading chat. That was a really great run, and... Like this, I've had a lot of fun getting back into Isaac. We tasted it. 50 bits. Thank you so very, very much. Very much appreciated. But getting back into Isaac has been a lot of fun. Not that I ever fell out with Isaac, but I'd played so much of Afterbirth Plus. I had all of the achievements for it. I'd done everything. Every time I played it, it was more or less just like a guaranteed win and so now there's like a whole new game literally basically to play and understand it's just breathed a great deal of life back into the game and i am all for it even like i was on a miserable losing streak before today and it stressed me stressed me out and i hated it but at the same time I was I still found myself keeping on coming back to it. So I think what they've managed to do for this is outstanding. And I am a big fan. Which is an Isaac pun because big fan is is the name of an item. <laughs> uh well health because I can't play to save my life anymore apparently. Uh where are we? I want to try out the true co-op now that that's been added. Yes, that is interesting. That would be intriguing. We tasted it, 250 points to the Bendy and the Ink Machine Challenge. Thank you for that as well. Kind of looking forward to just how bad my experience with that game is going to be. My god. The game isn't even any harder. This is the first floor. The game... This run hasn't even gotten hard yet. And I am just playing it so, so bad. This is not the way. Maybe it is time for me to go to bed. He's done it. <laughs> I've done nothing. I've done nothing except disappoint on this run in particular. Crazy to think that all this started out as a fan mod. Exactly. That's what's even crazier, is that this isn't even... Well, I mean, I say it's not Ed's work. Like, it is Ed's work. But it was a mod that Ed McMillan loved and was like, I want to make that the game. So he did. It's incredible. Fan mods have a great history in gaming. That is true. But if you think, there's really no better people poised to make it. I mean, this change is definitely one that can be reversed. The fact that these guys have such a stupidly high shot speed now. That one, that can go. Never mind that change. Bring back slow shot speed and more of the void hearts, please. <laughs> but there's no one better positioned to make mods than the fans themselves because they know what they love in the game. This is where the I feel like this is where the run is going to die and it's going to be at the hands of a dip and I'm going to have to never play this game ever again as a result of that. <laughs> Don't
dying to a dip is instant instantly resets your gamer points back to zero. There is no recovery from death to dip. We got Team Fortress and Sonic Mania from Fan Mods. Portal. I think Portal started out as a, a Half-Life mod, right? And look what's going on with that now. Oh, he tried. He tried. Uh, both are exceptional. However, you've got to go with Cancer. Because the HP. <laughs> Also, again, pop isn't helping. You need the right so you, you need other items to make pop work. So I think as soon as we get an opportunity, if we get an opportunity to swap pop, then we shall exclaim prediction. What is your prediction? That I'm gonna die to a dip. Please don't. Hey! Now all of a sudden it's worth going to the shop. Alrighty. What do you got? Hmm. Oh, what floor? Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Let's uh, let's do a quick one here. So. Uh, I'm going to do it as a poll. So. Let's go. Where will I die? Um, let's go. Basement. Um, we're not going to be doing the alt floors. I'm not ready for that, as you might be able to tell. Um, okay, I can only have four responses. So I think... And, I th and to be fair, I think having any more than four is quite ambitious. <laughs> I um, don't feel like we'll make it much further than the womb. Anyway, the poll is now live. Pick... Uh, Pick your poison and we shall see. This is where I get to see just how much faith you all have in me. If there are any votes for the basement, I'll be deeply upset. Especially because we're now in a good position for HP. If you think that I'm about to die at the hands of whatever this boss is going to be, uh, I'm going to go out on the limb and say it'll be the Gurglings. It was Larry Jr. But if you think I'm going to die to Larry Jr. here on the basement, then I'm deeply upset. You're potentially correct, but it is a small possibility, especially with help from Shade, if we can get Shade to do some work. So the smart money is to vote on Caves and Below. I see it, the results are in. I can't see what they are though, I just see the green thing. Ah, 50% won out on the womb there. I want to see what the other votes were down for as well though. What else do we uh, what else do we have? Someone for the caves and someone for the depths. People who voted for the womb, thank you. I appreciate your faith in me. However, it, I would also argue that it's very much misplaced. <laughs> Those who say the caves, thank you for being honest. And the depths is a good good, good balance between. Um you got to go damage on this. I think this is a, obviously a very tactical character because you've got to you've got a long game. You've got to work out what it is you want to achieve from the run before you really know what it is you're able to achieve from the run. Have we just got two identical rooms here? More or less. Thanks for that. It is, however, a really good idea. Because I guess that's the thing, is like, it's... When it comes to updating a game like this, one of the main things you can add... Like, you, you add more items and you add new characters to play as. Those are like the two things that a new Isaac mod, patch, whatever, has to have. As declared in, essentially... Ed, Ed, Ed's Law. Let's call it Ed's Law. A new patch has to feature more of the game's most popular feature. So, in Isaac, Ed's Law is items and characters. In Minecraft, Ed's Law is blocks. And things like that. So, 
there needed there needs to be more characters, and I think this is a really genius way of adding more characters. You don't you don't even need to necessarily come up with new mechanics for them. For instance, when adding the Lost, it was like, okay, well, I haven't got a character that dies in one hit, so there we go, the Lost, job done. Then it comes to adding, like, Eden or whatever, and you go, well, I haven't got a completely random character, let's do Eden. Jacob and Esau, I haven't got a twin character. So you've got new mechanics, Black Candle, of course. Uh, you've got new mechanics and stuff, but then you can introduce these new characters which just spin the old ones. And I think that's a really clever idea. Whether or not it's going to be any good remains to be seen, depending on how well the runs as these... As these... I don't know, what would you call these new characters? These dead characters? They're not dead, are they? Bruised? Sinners? I don't know. Whatever you'd call them. Well, I'm intrigued to play a few more runs as these. This has opened the game wide. In a way that I honestly didn't think the game would be. And I think the amount of depth and lore that now exists in this game is incredible. You ever think, like, when Ed sat there and made the game ten years ago, that A, it would still be going, and B, that it would have this kind of fan base? Uh, you've got to go less than three. The full heal is very important. B-side Forgotten is crazy. The soul can't shoot, so it has to pick up the bones and throw it around. Oh my god. That sounds terrible. I'm off now. It was fun. Best of luck. Thank you very much. We tasted it. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for hanging out with us as well. Very much appreciated. And I hope to see you again soon. I'm reckoning we'll play a little bit more of this tomorrow. The B-side. B-side's fair enough. I think B-side characters is good. Um, yeah, I think we're playing more of this tomorrow. I had originally scheduled to play Isaac tomorrow anyway. But it was only because I... Excuse me, how many flyers is this guy spitting out? Can you stop? But I started playing today because I'd had a lot of good fortune on a couple of runs I'd done today. So I was like, yeah, let's play some more. Let's stream it. And then tomorrow is my actual scheduled Isaac stream, so... We'll, we'll do a bit more. Boom fly! <laughs> Means to an end, I guess. Posture check, hydration break. Ooh, let's do it. Maybe we could come up with a different pun name for each of the alternative characters. That kind of revolves around alternative, different, that sort of thing. So something that comes to mind for me right now is we've got Isaac and then we've got Lysaac as like a amalgamation of the name Isaac and Lies because it's not the real Isaac. Something like that. I think we could come up with names like that. That would be quite cool. Bysaac. <laughs> what does Isaac say when he's about to leave the gathering. Goodbye, Zerk! No. no, we're not doing any more of those puns. Mostly because I don't want to sit and do another supercut of puns. That Pikachu supercut was a lot of fun, but having to sit through three hours of stream to find every single Pikachu pun. <laughs> That was a level of willpower I'm not used to. Randall? Why are we, why are we going Randall? Lysak and his lover lived alone in a small house on a hill. Oh, 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 <laughs> we were doing well there, we were doing well. When is the video of my masterpiece out? What masterpiece are you referring to? Just a random name. 
<laughs> oh, Randall the random. We could call Eden Randall. Eden's the random character. Give it a random name. The random name of Randall. Oh, well, you got to go for SMB Superfan right here because Guillotine is just confusing. It is all heck. Okay, so we now have our maximum allowance of items, which, if I understand correctly, means that now we need to start being selective about what we're keeping and what we're tossing. And I think, personally, for the time being, we're in a good spot. We can toss Shade and Pop. Everything else is doing quite good for us right now. It's going to be useful to keep. But first, we need to defeat Mega Man. Which might be more of a challenge than I anticipated. You know what we need? I would love a Tears Up. I would love to be able to dodge those flames as well. I swear, if I lose my Devil Deal on this, I am gonna lose my mind. Thank you. Mega Man, Mega More. I, I, ah, oh, two Tears Ups. I think maybe the divorce papers because you get the bone heart out of them. Um, yes, it is Mega More, but I've always called it Mega Man, and it's just kind of stuck. Um, okay, so start with divorce papers for my tears up. How do I change what item I want to toss? Control. Yo, what? A hey, okay. Okay. So we're there now. Oh, but that doesn't swap around. That doesn't keep swapping around because I was like, you know what? Bar of Soap might also be pretty good to take. Anyway, let's see what our Devil Deal is. Oi! Hang on a sec. You can't cheat like that. Or like that. You can't have me enter the room from, like, exit the boss room from the top and come in through the Devil Deal from the left. Um Okay, I think we play the beggar. I'm going to I'm going to be risky. Lusty blood. Sometimes it pays to take a chance. Oh wait, no, but the papers, of course. So I want to keep those and switch out pop. And to be honest, we could probably get rid of cancer now because... Okay, swap it out for the hairball. Okay. There we go. Oh, we could have taken the collar as well. I'm a moron. But then what would we have done? Because I wouldn't mind betting that if we then don't have three guppy pieces in our rotation of items, we are not, we don't get the guppy transformation. You need to have three in there at once to be guppy, I reckon, is how it works. So I don't know, we'll have to see. Either way, the tears up is going to be incredibly useful. I already feel so much better. What do you got for me in here? Nothing that I'm really going to swap out, so thanks, but no thanks on this occasion. Oh no, oh no. Okay, Devil Deal's gone, but I'm okay with that. It's, this, is just a, this is just an experimental first run. You know, now I've got all of a sudden, heaps more stuff to do in this game than one could ever dream of. I've got to get all of the completion marks for the regular characters, unlock these alt characters, and then get all their completion marks as well. Oof. There is so much. Can these guys just rein it in a little bit? This is probably the longest I have ever spent on this room. Why are these so resilient? 
never normally this resilient. <laughs> Alright, half a heart. I think this is where our story will end, on this or the next floor. I think the people who suggested the caves are going to be correct. Which I am okay with. You know, we've uh, we've been going a little longer than usual tonight. You got a little bit of an extra, uh, a little bit of extra. So uh, if it does end soon, that's not too much of a problem. I did think that it was going to be at the hands of one of those dips, and then bearing in mind what I said earlier about losing all your credibility if you die to a dip, I was like, that's that's what's going to happen. Fortunately, we're swerving it though. And thanks to Lusty Blood, damage up for every enemy we kill. We are absolutely toasting them. Beautifully done. Oh, the Larrys. Again. Larry Jr., the rematch. This time, Sans Shade. But I don't know if we're going to need it. Cool. Exit and leave. Because that gives you a chance to get consumables out of the poop that Larry leaves behind. No, it's a Mimic's chest! I hate them. I hate them. Oh, not to a bony. It's a soul heart! Our prayers have been answered. And that's a great trinket. I, I like myosotosis. Myosotis? Whatever that word says. I really like it. It's a trinket that brings all of the consumables from the previous floor down with you to the next one. So if there's stuff that you can't pick up because you're full, or maybe you can't even reach it. Like these four coins, we just can't reach. So we can, uh, thanks to this trinket, we could just leave them there. And then when we get to the next floor, if we get to the next floor, then we can pick them up there. That's it. Just get out of the way a little bit so I've got space to actually attack and retreat. Great. More of that. Beautiful. After this stream is done, you can bet that I am going to go straight to YouTube and look up the Dogma theme and listen to it in its entirety. Because that was an incredible bit of music. And I'm, I'm just gutted that I didn't get to hear it in full. Um, nor uninterrupted because I, I kept dying. But, what I will say, if I'll be allowed to blow my own trumpet for a second, is I don't think that was a bad first attempt at Dogma. Given how I've never seen the boss and never fought it, to have at least made it partially into that spinny phase, that felt like good progress. And it, that felt like a pretty decent achievement, considering... I've not fought it before. So I'm 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 gonna take that as a win. It was it's been uh, it's been productive. Uh ooh, the PhD is good. Probably not worth getting rid of anything for though. And also can't afford it! Spare me. What do you do in this room? This room is just guaranteed damage for me. <laughs> Freaking, I don't know, dirt, dart fly, whatever it is. Jay, what are you putting in chat? Are those fists? What are they? Are those just counters for all my dumb damage? Dumb plays. Oh, brains for the galaxy brain. Oh, for God's sake, look. That doesn't count. Peep is difficult to dodge. I still maintain that. Peep is a simple boss, but he's difficult to dodge. Case in point. Does count. Alright, well look, you come face Peep and do it hitless. I, I challenge you. 
I challenge you to a damageless peep. I, I, I had nowhere to go there. It was either the creep or the eyeball. Um, nah. I'm not interested in either of those. In, it's a really interesting way of playing Isaac. I'm, I'm as surprised as you are that we've made it to the depths. And here's all of our consumables and pickups. Thank you very much. So maybe it would seem the people who said womb are not as insane as I anticipated. There's still a lot of work to do and a long way to go, though. Oh, that's a point. Does... I'm assuming they do. The Polaroid and the negative, do they count towards item slots? Because that's going to be a real problem. And especially for, like, in the future as well. The key pieces and the knife pieces for the alternative path and Mega Satan and things like that. If those take up item slots, which I'm assuming they do, then that is going to really throw a spanner in. Sure, give me Holy Mantle 2 speed, 14, 1 makes you small pills and you're on. No. Do peep damageless on the same off of the back of the run that I'm currently doing. Why do you get an advantage? Spider Spider Buddy is quite good. I haven't got the money for it though. Done. Soul Heart. Too little too late, but I appreciate the gesture. Let's just go this way. Is it possible to get soft locked in this room? It might be. We should still try and track down our item room. And we've got a bedroom as well, so we could maybe get a chance to heal. Larry Jr. again? Larry! What's wrong with you? Why are there so many? Unbelievable. Okay, heal me up, Scotty. Probably didn't need to heal up right now, but... We'll take it anyway. Uh, crawl space? Crawl space! What do you got for me? Eve's bird's foot. What a waste. Are you really? Unbelievable! Oh, maybe maybe it was the uh, maybe it was the suction grimaces that got me there. Inadvertently. So here's another question because I don't I don't recall having seen any so far in on this one. Do you reckon old Isaac can actually get spacebar items? I don't recall seeing any here. And part of me wants to say that if you can only carry a item... Oh, look, Crack the Sky, a spacebar item. Never mind. However, I'm more intrigued by this pepper. Bird's eye. It burns. Well, it was a damage up. Oh, but I got rid of the hairball. Um... Okay, well, that'll have to do. What? The beams nudged each other. That's quite outrageous. This will give us a chance as well. We'll be able to see, potentially, whether or not you need to keep all three guppy items in place to have the transformation. 
This doesn't count as Larry Jr. because it's the hollow, but I, I can understand why you may think it is Larry Jr. because they are very similar. Essentially, we've got a... We've got a ghost pepper again. Which I'm okay with. That's not a complaint. The fires are, are, are really, really beneficial, actually. Hanged man. Dolt. Potato peeler. Have we seen the potato peeler on this run? Or rather, have you seen the potato peeler on this run? Because I haven't. I haven't been looking for it, but... But yeah, I don't... I almost want to say that spacebar items can't be found, because if the whole idea is that... <laughs> that B-side Isaac has eight items only... Oh, toast... literally toasting the Duke of Flies. Mm-mm. The potato peeler was in the shop. Oh. Okay. So then what I'm thinking is if we can get the school bag so that you can hold two spacebar items, that could increase... increase our productivity a little bit. More like the Duke of Dies. What? <laughs> Alright, come on then, war. If I can still make the devil deal work from this, that'd be great. I'm not anticipating much, but see what we can do. That's it. More fires. More fires. Keep them coming. Because if he keeps singeing himself on those, then zero complaints. Oh! Okay, well, Devil Deal is now all but gone. Lead him through the fires. That's it. Wasn't the fire I wanted, but it doesn't matter. It did the job. Come through. And again. Oh, it burnt out. Never mind. He's out of here. We got the Devil Deal anyway. We probably don't deserve it, but we did get it. What's for sale? Nothing that I want. And again... Nothing that I really want to swap anything that I've already got out with. Well, actually, what we could do is we could replace the snack. We didn't lose the health down. Well, that opens things up a little bit. If we don't lose the health from picking up a HP up, that changes things a little bit. Okay. This is all brand new information. It's all good to learn. Like I say, I don't think this is a legitimate run of this character. Not hematemesis! Ed's just sat in his apartment now going... La 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 So I am I'm at least taking that away. This hasn't been a lost cause. I voted you die on this stage. Oh then uh you're you could be quids in. Not that there is any winnings, it's just kind of personal pride. Repentance made all of the orbitals move faster, so it's a lot harder to use ball of bandages and other orbitals to do all of your damage. Which is fair, it's a fair balance, but at the same time, like, it just does not make things difficult. Which I guess is the point. 
especially for a game that's 10 years old, you've got so many people out there who are phenomenally good at it. You want to give them a new challenge. You want to give them a reason to come back and play your game. All this money. And absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, you're alright. <laughs> How about new... That's it. Give me the lusty blood damage up. Oh, it's so brilliant. It's wonderful. More of that. Who's here? Whoa! Hi! These psychic trites are not friendly. Alright. After accidentally throwing up all of my health at the start of the floor, we are now back to full red health. There we go. And a golden key, thank you. No longer costs us keys to open things with locks. Oh, that was a stony. Okay, I was trying to destroy it, but... Didn't even matter. These, uh, these jumping worms, I feel like, have a lot more health than their hitbox would make you believe. There we go, we got it. How many red hearts does the game want to give you? Uh, well, oh, I was going to say literally none, but it's because we picked them all up. Uh... Oh, I didn't... Well, as it doesn't matter, you take the lucky foot just for the luck up. It's better than the the ice cream scoop. Oh, cornered! It survived. It's better than the ice cream scoop, which just gives you the... basically gives you something similar to Peep's eye that just sort of bobs around the room. Lucky Foot is essentially PhD. No negative pills? That's a very substantial buff, actually, for the Lucky Foot. Because before I think it was just a luck upgrade, and it made beggars m more likely to pay out sooner. Both great advantages, but to now also have the pills all be tasty and delicious and not negative. That's very substantial. Great. Good for Kane, yeah. Wait, what? We're here already? Who did I... Who was the other... Who was the first caves boss? War. Thank you. Like, this doesn't feel right. I feel like we haven't played one of these floor, like the first part of this chapter yet, but you're right, it was war. Okay, if we can get her to, if we can get mum to stomp on the fires, that's going to be our greatest damage dealing opportunity here. Ooh, that was close. Or again, yeah, yeah, loads of fires where she sticks her fleshy bits out. Is also incredible. More of that. Yeah, 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 she's out of here. Can we do it? No damage, please. Kill her. She's out. Beautiful. Die, please. Stop. Stop. No. No. So, we now need to sacrifice an item. To be able to continue. And I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to get rid of the ball of bandages. <gasps> they don't count! The Polaroid doesn't count! Nor does the negative, I presume. And therefore, I'm assuming also the knife pieces and key pieces don't? That's good, actually. I am very glad for that. That would have been, like, unnecessary challenge. Which Ed's a fan of. Don't get me wrong. But... I'm glad that it doesn't take up an item slot. Ugh. Oh. Sorry, Jay. The moon. 
I knew it was going to be greed. Come on, then. Give me what you got. Woo! Knew you could make it. I am stunned that we are still playing this run. <laughs> I was basically like, yeah, we'll start this run. Like, it, it's a completely new character, new mechanics. It, like, we won't be on it for long. It's just one of those runs, but... Uh, the mimic chests! It's like, we won't be on it for very long. We'll just... We'll give it a go. We'll see. If only I knew... Oh, what? Okay. Suddenly, now my devil deal's at risk. I've forgotten how to do this room entirely. <laughs> it's never taken me that long to do this room before, ever. Oh, champion, champion brimstone spiders. That's new and uncalled for. Can I have a soul heart, please? I would really like a devil deal. What was I? Where was I supposed to go there? What was I supposed to do? Okay, could it be the womb that's going to end? Oh, pills are good now, but I can't get over there. Is it the womb that's going to end us? Quite possibly. Oh, come on! Now I'm into the run, I don't want it to end. Oh dear. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Red heart? No red heart. Oh, let me out! This is where it ends. Now where are the red hearts? It's been really stingy, hasn't it? Okay. I've got the boss of the womb. And... It's... If this is that super secret room with all the red hearts, I'll be thrilled. Nope. Okay. Well then. Let's see. I'm not anticipating that this will be very successful. This will be it will be like the matriarch and it's going to absolutely roast me. It's the matriarch. Okay, well, the run's over here and now. Never mind though, congratulations to those of you who voted for me dying on the womb. I didn't see it coming. I honestly thought we'd be well out of it, but... There we go. The opening music has changed. Is that... Oh, it's because I'm on the tainted ones. Go back to... There we are. I like how smoothly it transitions as well. That's so good, so good. Every single Isaac stream we have had, and more or less every single Isaac run I have played since the game has come out, I've been like, it's incredible. I've enjoyed it so much. It's honestly what the game's needed for so, so long. It's wonderful. Woo bits, but also rip bits. Thank you very much. Guys, that is going to do it for this evening. I hope that you have enjoyed this evening's foray into the Binding of Isaac. I certainly have. It's been awesome, and I am looking forward very, very much to playing more of it tomorrow. It's going to be great. So, with all that being said and done, as always, everybody, thank you very much for coming and hanging out with us this evening. For all of the bits and follows for the resubs, even though notifications didn't really come through, but kind of did, and all that sort of weird stuff... Uh, they are very much appreciated. 
Bridge teams always didn't realize this game had so much backstory to it. It never used to. <laughs> and now Repentance has come out and suddenly it's like six missing jigsaw pieces have just fallen into place and everything makes sense. Uh, ten bits from there as well. Thank you very much. Um, as always, of course, if this is first time, I'm not doing so already, maybe you'd want to give the follow button a, a little tap because we'll be streaming a lot more Isaac, we'll be playing all sorts of other stuff as well in the future, uh, and you'll get notified when I go live. If you want to come and join us over on Discord, we've just had the link popped in chat there as well, thank you very much. Come and join us and hang out and do some chatting off stream. Uh, you can also find all of my social media stuff just by searching for Tap Productions, it exists everywhere. Uh, but I can never remember the command, whether it's plural or not. I'm going to assume it's not. There we are. Uh, and indeed, if you haven't caught up on any of the VODs and you wish to, there is a link to YouTube right there as well. And you'll be able to see about all the other sorts of stuff we get up to. Other than that, though, I ain't got much else. Let's spread the love onwards to... Pandaruni. Playing Hunt Showdown. So if you want to come and join us for the raid, then feel free to do so. You should, get, you should get a heap more channel points, which you can use to pay towards our Bendy and the Ink Machine challenge thingy, which is 1% away from the heck number. So get it there. Um... If you're not joining us for the raid, thank you for hanging out, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for a lot more Isaac. And I'll see you all then. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, or evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.